Welcome to the chat room. Welcome to the chat room. Hello, Internet. Hello, Twitches. Time appropriate greetings, everyone. Hello, it is Tuesday, and yes, it is a stream. Delicious cornbread. I do not know if this actually qualifies as a full-fledged grown-up stream, but it's it's a, of the stream variety, let's just say. How the hell is everybody doing? Good to see you, sir. I hope you don't have parking lot duty tonight. Oh, there you are, right there at the parking lot early today, so I'm here for another 40 minutes. Well, there you go. There you go. You answered my question right there. I just saw it. Well, enjoy that 40 minutes, and then, and then try and have a good night. Hello, Vish. How you doing? Daniel can do. Hello, everybody. Vic! How you doing, Vic? And I just saw SnapFit. SnapFit, I just saw the notification a couple days ago for your resub. So thank you for being here for me to thank you for that. Very much appreciate that resub. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Ginger Ninja, hello. How you doing? Moistly Drunk, howdy. Daniel, Popo Paul. How you doing, Popo Paul? Good to see you. Uh, anybody else I'm missing? Let me scroll up. No, oh, I hope that's everybody. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to kind of do a little thing tonight. Jay Rickman, hello. How you doing? Um, I'm going to do some testing tonight. Actual gameplay testing for a mod I've been working on. It's probably be the most vanilla you'll ever see me play Fallout 4. And it's really just going to be kind of running around the map in God mode doing some quests to make sure my script thingy works. So, yeah, it's basically vanilla Fallout 4 with my mod is pretty much a handful of other things. Uh, I do have a little bit in the CK to attend to, I think. Hey, Anthony, how you doing? I did miss you. I knew I missed somebody. How you doing, Anthony? How you doing? Jaybird, hello. Know where everything is once I be able to download it. Well, I, you know what happens between now and when I upload it. I completely re redo everything. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, I have a quest a quest with a script attached to it that I need to test tonight. I've kind of done some testing on it. So I want to know if things actually work. And you can only do so much with console commands. So I actually need to go and do some of these quests to make sure things actually work the way they should. So we're going to barrel through some quests tonight in God mode with uh, the kill, kill all hostiles command is going to be my friend tonight. And... Um, yeah, yeah. It's it basically I just need to barrel through the quest to make sure that the script works and does the thing that I want it to do. What is the thing I want it to do? You might ask. Well, let me uh, see if I can switch some buttons here. Uh, how to write papyrus so you get code from the forums? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. I know enough to be dangerous, but to do a lot of th like this this quest related script that I had to work on, I did have to go to the forums. And the Googles. And yeah, it's a combination of the two. Um, looking back through my older scripts and finding things on the internet. And actually, Vish, a lot of it is looking through the base game stuff. That's reverse engineering things that were done in the game. You can learn a lot that way. I actually learned a lot about how the quests work, how the, the quest stages work, the objectives, just by going back and looking at how the quests are set up. So, Lilac, hello, how are you? What What are the Googles? Yes, who says Googles with an S? A synth. I know where you're going with that. Only a synth says Googles with an S. That's the Googles. All of them. The Googles and the internets. The light switch, switch script was genius. Oh, well, you're welcome for that, but it was, like, so stupidly simple. I, there might even be a base game script that does something similar. I just couldn't find it. And I didn't know where to look at the time, but I, I'm, I'm glad you're getting getting some use out of that. Appreciate that. Um, uh, yeah, let me switch buttons here. I'll show you kind of what we're doing here. Um, I need this. We have music. Yeah, we have some music here. That's fine. I can leave this music on. Um, so this is this is. Uh, let me zoom out here. This is uh, the creation kit. This is the armory cell for underground hideout that. Um, that little tiny itty bitty player home I've been working on for months. It's been a long time. This is the armory section. This is mainly complete. And uh, this section here is what our focus is going to be tonight. Last time we worked on a cell, the dungeon cell that I have uh, where you have to go get the key. I have a quest set up for that, my very first fetch quest. And it just worked out of the box. I was amazed. 
So I want to go run through that tonight just to make sure, because uh, I did make a couple tweaks to things. I want to make sure that's all working. Uh, but this wall section right here is going to be the uh, the quest items section. This is what I want to test tonight. The New Vegas version of Underground Hideout. You guys watched my uh, New Vegas playthrough. Know that when you complete certain quests in the game, you progress with uh, reputation with the factions. You'll get a little notification that says the decoration's been added to your hideout. I want to do that for this. I wasn't going to do anything like that because it was, uh, you know, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. It was feature creep. I just wanted to focus on getting the house done. But then I had this wall to fill up. Like, what am I going to do with this wall section? Hmm. I guess I can fill it with quest items. Which means I have to figure out how to get them up here when you finish a quest. And that took a little bit of research, but wasn't hard to do. It kind of worked the first time I did it. And I tried to test a little bit more and actually got it to work the way I wanted to. So, yeah. So that's what I want to test. I have a quest set up. Let's go over this very quickly here. I have this quest set up that runs when the game launches. The first time you inst you install the mod, the first time you launch the game, it starts this quest. It's not like a go here and get the thing quest like the fetch quest for the key is. It's the game literally has hundreds of quests that run in the background that you don't even know about, and they do things. When uh, you go into my one of my my mods in the player player home, the the bed or um, terminal has your player's name on it. That's done with a quest. It forces your player's name onto the onto the bed or the um, or the terminal. That's done with a quest, but you'd never know it. So this quest basically starts when you launch the game, when you launch the game for the first time with the mod activated, and it's very super, well, the quest itself is super simple. Uh, when the first stage loads, it has the script attached to it. And this quest is what I need to test tonight. Or, I'm sorry, the script. What this script does, it I have specific quests set up as properties, and I have quest references. These quest refs here are the static items that get enabled when you finish a quest. So what it basically does is it listens, this register for remote event, it's basically like a little, oh, what's the word I'm thinking for? Like a, um, a flag. It plants a flag on that quest and it monitors it. And when you reach a specific stage of that quest, it says, oh, I need to do the thing. And the thing is to activate the decoration. At least that's what the this part down here, there's two parts of the quest, or the, of the script. This listens for a specific stage, and when you reach that stage, it does the thing. And I have a bunch of debug messages in here, which I hope I remember to take out before I ship this thing. But essentially, it'll display a message saying, new decorations have been added to the hideout. Lady Chaotic, thank you very much for that follow. Appreciate that. Um, welcome. Uh, you get the notification, items been added, decorations been added to the hideout, and it activates the reference. And then it unregisters itself, so it no longer listens for that quest because the quest is done, so it basically takes, it basically shuts itself off. And this part up here, if you've already done the quest before you install the mod, it checks that. So the save we're using tonight, that we're going to be playing on tonight, I've already done the very first Minuteman quest, was it When Freedom Calls? Uh, min zero zero is the editor ID. It's where you basically get Preston out of the the museum and you bring him in the um, the peanut gallery up there to sanctuary. I've already completed that. Did it in God mode. Did whatever the game wanted me to do. Just K A H to kill everybody in Concord. Took five minutes. It was glorious. So that's already completed. So when I launch into the game with the mod activated, I did that without the mod active because I wanted to check, check this out for tonight. When we launch the game, I should get a notification that this quest is already completed and that the decoration's been added to the hideout. So that's the first thing. Uh, so that's essentially what I need to test tonight. Um, make sure, and I, I did this all over the weekend, little bits here and there. Uh, finished it up on Sunday night. Last thing I did before I went to bed Sunday was to get all these other side quests in here and make sure that these at least work with console commands uh, some of them I actually had to do. Console commands are not a good way to test. They're not a good way to fix a broken quest in a game either, but that's a whole other discussion. Um, so I actually need to go and do some of these quests. So I have a list of things I, I kind of want to run through tonight. 
And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, ownership object name, is it enough to make a character's name appear on terminals and things like that? Nope. Has to be done dynamically through a quest. Um, unless you unless you can account for um, every player's name ever. <laughs> Has to be done through a quest. And basically, I actually can show you how that was. I can't take credit for this. I got this uh, from Sudden4494 on one of his tutorials. And basically, you set up a quest alias um, that references a note. And the note basically has some code in it. Get this open here. This this forces the name on the bed. You put you put this. It's like player equals alias, or player name equal uh, player name equals alias. You put that into a note. You use the note. You use uh, the bed as a as a as an alias, and it forces the stored text from the note onto the because it's um it's the name of the uh, the bed or whatever it is you interact with. And I don't know the magic of how it works, but it basically fills in the player name as the alias and dumps it into the activation. So you kind of have to do it because it's dynamic. And if you have a different character, it's going to change. And the bed does... I actually have the, the bed and the footlocker set up here. So 74494 has the tutorial on how to do that. That's where I got the, uh, the information from. It literally takes five minutes to do. Once you've done it once, it's five minutes. It's... It's... You really, uh, I think I can show you the note here too. While I'm thinking of it, it might make more sense if I show you the note. Uh, note. Note. Where are the notes? I know it's staring me right in the face and I can't freaking see it. Note. Come on, book. No, that's it. That's for the key. Nope. I'm sorry, message. I'm looking for notes. I was looking at next edit earlier today, and they're all notes. Um, I'm confused. Player name bed message. Bing. So this is actually, uh, you put an alias equals player with the brackets, and then whatever object it is that you want the name to appear on. So this is for the bed, so it's alias equals player's bed. And you do the same thing for whatever object you want the player's name to be on. Then you use this, you tie this to the alias, in the quest and it just works yep so it's all there on the internet first time i tried to use the light switch script and went insane for two days that understood you have to create previs and pre-combines for interiors not to use that script you don't it has nothing to do with pre-combines absolutely not i i don't have the pre-combines built in this and the scripts uh, the light switch scripts all work it's they're two completely different things um, but yeah, I want to show you guys what this looks like um, in the game. There's actually a fail safe as well, because if you're like me, you'll never do the Minutemen quest again, but you want the flag. I have a terminal set up so that you'll be able to go and activate any and all of these things. Um, like if you don't want to do the, all the quests, you don't have to. To get the thing, you could just go to the, I guess you can call it the cheat terminal. Go to the cheat terminal and activate these things as you want. Or if for whatever reason they don't activate when you finish the quest, but you still want it, you can go and do that. So, or you just don't want to wait. You just hate looking at a blank empty wall. You can go do that there too. So there's this wall over here, and then there's this wall over here. This section has the Pikmin Gallery painting, the Giddy Up Bitter Cup. Oh, the alien. I I had this nice little alien UFO model that I've used in a few few mods. I, I really wanted that, <laughs> where you, you get the alien blaster after killing the alien. Uh, level 20, you get that random encounter. The UFO shows up. This was this was a little bit different because this isn't really a quest for the alien. There is there is a quest, but the quest really only handles the UFO showing up. The Killing the alien is completely freeform. There's nothing attached to it. So what I ended up having to do was take my quest and make that alien a reference and then attach a script to him that detected if he died. And this is where looking through the base game files can really be a, a time saver because I wanted a script that would tell that would tell the quest when he was dead and activate 
uh, and be able to activate the decoration. Well, lo and behold, there's a default alias on death script that all it does is when you set it to an alias, uh, alias, or it could be uh, you know, like, a, like an NPC alias, it sets the, sets the quest to whatever stage you put in this little box here. So, I, oh, I can do this. Eric B. Raiden. How you doing, Eric? Thank you very much for that raid. How the hell are you, sir? Give me one second to give you a shout-out. Uh, thank you very much, Eric. How the hell are you? Playing Fallout 4. Yes. How you doing, Eric? Thank you very much for the raid, sir. We're just playing a little creation kit here. Yeah. How you doing? How'd the rest of your raid go? Or your, your raid? How'd the rest of your game go? I had to bail for dinner and stuff. But thank you very much for the raid, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, just going over this little miracle quest that I did, this little script that I discovered here. So essentially what it does is we're just talking about, um, let me back up out here for you guys that are just joining us. I'm kind of explaining how this new mod that I'm working on has a section that as you complete quests and whatnot, the, ro the Robo Army is still undefeated, as it should be. As it should be. Um, what'll happen is you complete certain quests, decorations get added to the house, and you get a notification. And I was just explaining that the alien, uh, to get the alien blaster is a little tricky because there's no quest attached to it. So what I had to do was set up the alien, the little alien that gets enabled in that cave when you hit level 20 and the UFO crashes. I made him an alias on my quest. This way, you can do this. You don't make any edits to base game objects, which is bad. Sure, I could have put the uh, a script right on the alien, but that creates problems if another mod t uh, does something with him. Essentially, you don't want to touch vanilla references. That's just that's just bad. Making him a quest alias, pff, completely untouched. I edited no vanilla records. This handy little quest here basically says, okay, when he dies, kick the stage, kick the quest to the next stage. And the next stage of the quest is basically stage 20. Stage 20 has a script fragment on it that when the alias on death script kicks it to stage 20, the quest says, oh, okay, well, I'm going to enable the UFO reference and pop up the message. So that's how I got around that little trick. Hey, Uncle Lander. Hello. How you doing, sir? I'm actually going to do a couple other shout outs. I saw Bobo Paul earlier here. I'm going to give shout outs to all my streamers here. Hang on a second. I'm going to give a shout out for Popo Paul. Last stream in Fallout 4. And I'm going to give Uncle Lander a shout out here as well. Let me guess. I'm sure Uncle Lander was streaming Fallout 4. How much you want to bet? Magic 8 Ball says Fallout 4. How you doing, Uncle Lander? Good to see you. Um, Fallout 4. So. That's kind of how I got around that. And there's also a script fragment attached to the first stage that if you've already killed the alien before you install the mod, this checks to see if this line here, if a alien NPC alias is dead, do the thing. So if you've already killed him, the game will say, oh, he's already dead, so I'm going to enable the decoration and pop up the message. So there you go. That's a thing. So... I'm going to actually switch sources here. I'm going to jump into the game, and I want to show you guys this room, show you the terminal, and then we'll load up the save that I have that has everything uh, ready to go for tonight. We'll go we'll go kill some shit, because I know that's why you guys, guys are all here. We're going to go kill some shit. So just give me a second to switch sources, and launch the game here. Hopefully. Oh, come on. Fallout 4. Nope. Didn't like that. No, sir. Didn't like it. We'll try this again. There. We should have game sign here momentarily. Yes, please. So, yeah, this is uh, when we go do our little testing session here. Very minimal on the mods. Extremely minimal. I actually hope I remember to turn the hideout back on because I had it off earlier. I think I turned it on. We'll find out in a minute here. Uh, I think I have everyone's best friend, better companions, no conflicts, XDI for the dialogue interface. Um, I know I have HUD++, some other script extender mods, better console. 
just basically because when I'm when I'm testing my mods, I don't want to have a whole bunch of other stuff. So we're not, we're not doing that. Uh, armory. Oh, I bet I don't have the mod active. Did I? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't turn the mod on. Oh boy, I'm an idiot. Yep, I didn't turn it on. There, the mod is on now. And yes, yes, I'm I'm uh, I'm going to come right out and say it. Here's a confession, everybody. Here's a confession. I I, I actually I I am a derp, Lilac. You are correct. I am I am the derps. I'm also going to make a confession here. For my dev environment, I still use Nexus Mod Manager because it dumps everything in my data folder where I need it. Yeah, CK kind of doesn't work with MO2 sometimes, especially at least it used to have problems with compiling scripts. Maybe they fixed it, but um, yeah, for my dev install, I still use uh, I still use Nexus Mod Manager because uh, literally I just needed to turn shit on and off and forget to turn it back on again. So, we're going to try this again. I went and set up the radio, the entertainment system last night. And so that all works, although I'm COC, COCing in from the main menu as a level 1 character. So, we have no radios to listen to. But, uh, so the radio system is set up so you can listen to Diamond City Radio, the classical radio, until you blow up the Institute. Or um, Radio Freedom when you get that. So. I got a couple debug messages set up. We're going to get two of them. Three when we actually start loading up the save here. So this one tells me that the quest is running. This one tells me that the quest script is running. So those will have to come out. So this is what we were just looking at before. Everything is... Uh... Yeah, this is that new game all the cool kids are playing called Fallout 4. I've, I've, never, I've never touched it before. Uh, the reason I use um, Nexus Mod Manager for my dev install is because, in this case, I want everything put into my data folder. Um, for the most part, I, that's pretty much, I only have my own mods installed. Um, and working with the creation kit, all my scripts and everything, and all my assets, I, I kind of need those in the data folder. MO2 is okay for, for minor things, but for the stuff that I'm working on, it's, um, it's better to have it in the data folder, especially when I'm collecting everything out and packing archives from the from the CK to, to put stuff up on the Nexus. So, uh, so this is the blank wall here that we just saw everything in the in the CK. It's all initially disabled, but if we head back here. I'm actually gonna have to. Uh, so this will be the the power armor bay here. So those six power armor stations here, and the lights. I'll turn on and off in sequence. Uh, oh yeah, this is locked, so we need to do the thing. Circle one of these, it's gotta be, there's the door. Yeah, I don't trust the packing in MO2 at all. Yeah, the CK does not like working in the virtual environment sometimes. And when I'm working on my, my textures and stuff, it's just much easier for me to just have everything right there in the data folder. Um, all right, so you go over to the mainframe terminal. And I'm just going to go through and turn all the things on. I've already uh, tested this out sometime. Light sequence work. Something like a time delay. Yes, it's exactly what it is. There's um, basically, Vish, what I've done is I've, I've duplicated the, the basic light script. And I put a utility weight in between... Uh, in between the there's two sets of markers there's two enable markers or three and there's like a utility weight uh function in between each set of markers so it's it's exactly that it's just a excuse me tiny little delay and then there's a sound attached to um uh, a sound that plays and that's attached to that section there um so faction of main quest this is basically all of the, the faction flags and uh institutionalized uh, unlikely Valentine and and Killing Kellogg. So the two main quest ones I, I've got is Unlikely Valentine. You rescue Nick Valentine, you'll get a little Valentine's detective agency signed on the wall. And Reunions, you'll get Kellogg's pistol and a nice limited edition frame collector's piece. It's a, it's literally Kellogg's 44 pistol or whatever it is inside a uh, a nice little framed box. So I'm just going to go add all the things. You get the little pop-up message there. 
So I just want to show you guys what everything looks like in game because we're not going to get to it all tonight. And double check that this shit all works. And then we'll go and do uh, the DLCs. So Automatron, uh, I did, there's one of the Mechanist posters, which are really, really cool. And they're supposedly drawn by the kid in Canterbury Commons in Fallout 3, the comic book kid, which is pretty cool. Hey, TC Games, how you doing? All right, Eric, enjoy that lurk, enjoy that food, and thank you very much for the raid, sir. Appreciate that. How you doing, TC? Good to see you. Able to figure out, you're in the hospital. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well... Number one, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, Mad Dog. Uh, sorry Dog to hear- Zero cheered. X1000. Hey. Hey. This isn't the Mojave. Thanks for the bits, Mad Dog. No, this is not the Mojave. We're playing Creation Kid. How you doing? Thank you. TC! Very sorry to hear that, man, but I'm glad you stopped in to say hello. I hope- I hope you're on the mend. Hope you feel better. It's good to hear from you. Even if it's bad news, it's always good to hear from you. No more bad news, damn it. Uh, you take care, man. Let us keep keep us posted on how you're doing. But you're home now? You're home from uh, the hospital? I hope they treated you well. But yeah, it sounds like you're home now. Um, so, Mechanist Poster, once you complete the DLC, I, I figured it was it's relatively short, so I just, you have to do Restoring Order to the last quest. You're home? Okay, cool, man. Well, I hope you're feeling better. Um, so, we'll go and activate that. Far Harbor, once you complete Walk in the Park and have um, O Longfellow escort you up to Acadia, once you get up and finish that quest, you'll get the little Arcadia arrow that I have set up. And Nuka World, once you finish Taken for a Ride, go through the gauntlet and talk to Gage, which starts, what is it, um, oh, Ambitious Plan, where you have to go and do the meet and greet with the Raider bosses, or you have to go talk to Gage at Biztop Mountain first. Basically, when you get through the gauntlet, You'll get, uh, you'll get a sign, and go back here to side quests. So, Adam Katz, we all know the Adam Katz quest, you get that, you get a little Adam Katz banner. Uh, the USS Constitution, I have this set up so that when you complete the quest, siding with Captain Ironsides, you'll get the little decoration. If you side with the Raiders, you won't. Just because the way the quest is set up, I had to go with one or the other, and I always do it with the with the robots, because that's more fun, because you get to see the ship go off and, and fly. If you decide to go the other route with the raiders, you just come in here, and you click this button, and you get the application, or you get the decoration. Yeah, a bunch of unlockable decor for that. Yes, yep, that's what we're testing tonight, Mad Dog. I spent the rest after uh, Saturday and most of Sunday, I spent uh, getting the script for this set up. And uh, that's what I want to go test some stuff on that tonight. So basically, when you complete a quest, uh, the act, the decoration will activate. And um, right now, I'm just showing you that if if you don't want to do a certain quest, or for whatever reason the thing doesn't activate, you just little debug terminal here. You can go and turn them all on if you want. I just I just want to show everybody how they actually look when they're on the wall because you come in the first time and it's it's empty wall. Todd Howard, the Todd Howard bug. Oh, geez, that's the worst TC. That's the worst. Um, click on these items in the terminal, make them appear possible automatically. Oh, that's, 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 you may, maybe you were in here earlier, Vish, when I was showing the script that does all that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to be testing tonight. I have a, I have a quest that launches, that, that starts when you launch the mod for the first time, has a script attached to it that monitors all these quests. And when you finish the quest, bing, you get a notification that it's been added. Yep. This is just, just the fail safe terminal. And I want to show you guys what uh, what they all look like. But yep, that's what we'll be testing tonight. So Silver Shroud, when you do the Silver Shroud quest, you get an autograph photo. Because who doesn't want an autograph photo of the Silver Shroud? Hole in the wall, you get the Vault 81 door. And the Cabin House, I have actually found a nice little, there's a plaque outside the Cabin House. So you get that. It says the, uh, the construction date. And on this one here, Public Knowledge for Daisy, the Overdue Books. You get those. Gilded Grasshopper. Uh, there's very few quests in this game that have iconic things that you can use. So I tried to get the ones that I thought that actually had assets I could use. There's not a whole lot. Um, Grasshopper statue. You get that. Pikmin. Pikmin Gallery quest. Pikmin's gift. 
You get the Pikmin's, uh, was it a picnic for Stanley or whatever it's called? You get that. Giddy up and go is Arlen, Arlen Glass's quest. You get that. Confidence Man. Everybody knows Confidence Man with Mr. Travis. Almost didn't know what to do. I was just going to go with the sign, but then I realized that there's a, there's a freaking microphone. There's actually a microphone um, asset. that They're all over WRVR, so you get Travis's microphone. And the alien encounter, which I talked about earlier. That's why I had to set the actual NPC up as a, as a quest alias, because there is no quest for this. Um, I actually might want to go test that out tonight, too. I get that. So everything should be activated through the failsafe terminal. So, yeah, this, again, if you're like me and you don't want to do the Minutemen stuff, you can come in here, activate the Minutemen flag, and, uh, and that'll be uh, all you need to do for that. So when we come out here, we should have all the things. All the things. Um... There's that, the Mechanist poster, the Valentine sign, there's uh, the little Acadia National Park arrow for Nuka World. All the faction flags, the Adam Katz banner, Nuka World sign, USS Constitution. That's actually the LOD model, but it works uh, It works perfectly fine for a little static display. Kellogg's pistol, the Cabot House plaque. Uh, I, might, I might put a light over here, too. I think this needs a little bit more light, actually. Uh, the Vault 81 vault door, the overdue books... The microphone and the Diamond City radio sign. The autograph poster, the Silver Shroud. Yield the Grasshopper. And when you come on over here, you got Pikmin's Gallery poster. And you got the Gideon Bitter Cup. And then there's that little mashup of the UFO model that we were talking about earlier. Um, that I had to set the actual NPC up as an alias. And that's everything. That's, uh... Well, that's it. How about... a uh, get Egg decoration, complete the quest meet pressed in the museum. The, oh, the bag of fertilizer? Yeah, that's a good idea. You can go ahead and do that. I'll let you I'll let you handle that one. Um Pickman's gift is a painting. Well, no, you get a you get a have you not done that? I don't want to ruin it for you if you haven't done that quest quest yet. But basically, this painting is part of that. It's just a basically once you go through Pickman's gallery, it's literally a very short quest that comes up. But it's tied into a couple other quests. Or actually, actually tied into one other quest that you can actually get from Hancock. So I'm not going to ruin it if you haven't done it yet. But this is uh, part of the Pikmin's Gallery quest. So you don't get the painting, but the painting is part of it. So, um, so you're going to release this 100% bug free as always. Always 100% sure that Nexus mod in this going to get filled with idiots who didn't finish one quest or another. Yeah, that's why I left that thing, Daniel. That's well, well thank you. I, I hope it's 100%. But, uh, BXD, DHXL. I'm just going to say BXD. Thank you very much for that follow. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, it, it's, people have... Yeah, mod doesn't work. Please fix. That's why I figured, you know, if something doesn't work... And I'm not going to spend months testing this stuff either. It's not worth it. This is, this, is, this is feature creep. This is the feature creep portion of the mod. I wasn't going to do this. And then I said, well, I got to have something on these walls over here. Yeah, I could put more tchotchkes and more posters and stuff but it's like you know i'm gonna do that thing that the new vegas mod does new vegas underground hideout and i'm gonna do the thing so i could have done more but this is all there's gonna be it's it's time it's time to it's time to move on you gotta stop somewhere and uh, i actually ended up adding this stuff at the last minute because i did have just some static tchotchkes over here i said like, no i still want to do the giddy at buttercup i want to do the ufo and what other ones can I... What other ones have iconic, you know, iconic items that can be associated with a quest? It's like, oh shit, the Pikmin's Gallery painting. So, that's where that came from. But that's that's all there is and there ain't no more. So, that's when you complete all the things, when you activate all the stuff. That's how the empty walls that we saw a little while ago were going to... It's time to let go exactly corn. Cornbread knows what I'm talking about. Cornbread knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's time to let go. Um, begin again. Uh, so, yeah, so that's what everything will look like, A, if you complete all the quests, and B, if um, you don't want to. You just want to go and do the uh, the cheat terminal, I guess, if you want to call it. Now, I did test this on my um, my railroad character that we streamed here on Twitch, uh, Agent Alexis, for the railroad playthrough. I launched the mod on the last save we made for that playthrough there at the Outcast hideout. 
and all my debug messages because we did all these quests in that character. Everything that we have I items for here, we did, except for the Minutemen. So I got all the debug messages, I COC'd in here. Everything had been enabled except for that lonely, that little Minuteman flag because Preston was sitting in the, the frickin' museum with his thumb up his keister. As he will be for the, as long as I play this game. Um... So that was the only thing we didn't do, and that was the only thing that didn't activate. Everything else was activated, and the game recognized that it had already completed those quests and activated everything the way it should. So I know that definitely works. So. Recommended download before starting a new game? No, you don't have to. Nope, that's why I put that feature in. So when, when you install the mod and launch your game for the first time with the mod installed, it'll go through and see which quest you've are of these quests you've already completed. If you already completed these, it'll just say, okay, you've already completed this, so I'm going to give you the, the decoration. So, in fact, when uh, I launch this, we'll, we'll give you an example here. Um, I'm going to launch my test. I think that's enough of that here. Um, we're done. So I'm going to launch this this save here. Uh, my test, Nora. I think we're level 9 now. When I launch this, and I've done I've done the Minutemen quest, the first Minutemen quest I mentioned earlier. Um... So Preston and the crew are at Sanctuary. I've gone to Diamond City and recruited Piper. I've gone and met the Railroad. So I have Tradecraft in the quest log. And I've already talked to Ellie at um, Nick Valentine's office. And I have uh, Unlikely Valentine in my quest log. So when I launch launch this, I, this is without the mod. So when I launch this... Oh shit, did I just... Oh, I'm an idiot. I just overrode it. Let's try this one. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I just overwrote that save. But we have another one. So, right now. The mod active. Mod was not active before. The quest is loaded. The script attached to the quest is loaded. And the min zero zero quest is already completed. Now, that's what happens when I'm trying to, trying to talk, play a video game, and read chat at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does the Giddy Up Bitter Cup ask for words that rhyme with gloom? That's the other Giddy Up Bitter Cup. That's the Giddy Up Butter... That's the Giddy Up Bitter Cup. Yes. Yes, actually, I also have the additional um, quotes added to the Giddy Up Bitter Cup. So Giddy Up Bitter Cup is complete. But, Daniel, yes, it enables retroactively. So, once we get into the hideout we'll already see that this is active. The, the Minutemen flag should be there. Yep, more decorative items have been added to your hideout. And where's... There's Pipper. Okay, cool. So Pipper should have... I think Pipper... Let me, um... Let me get God Mode on here. Pipper should have a, uh... Hey, minigun. Shoot! Don't mind the clutter. Yeah, Pipper's got the minigun. Alright, so... We're good to go. I got Doge Meat. Um... That's pretty much it. I do play with G-Sync. Yep, I have G-Sync enabled. Uh, so I think what we'll do first is I want to do the key quest for the house. So we'll head up to um, Long Neck Lukowski's. The, the house is not, the map marker for the house is not here. All the other map markers are enabled, which will make things a lot easier for us tonight. We'll go Long Neck Lukowski's. We'll get the house. I want to go do the house key quest. Give that a test. And then I think maybe... Maybe we'll go get, uh... Let me see what we got here. A Tradecraft, Unlikely Valentine. I have a list of things I was going to do tonight. I'm thinking that maybe we'll go do the Brotherhood. And, um... Barrel our way through Tradecraft. Because I want to test something with that. When... I was doing the set stages with the console commands for... Um, what is it called? The arms? The stage where... Paladin Dance gives you Righteous Authority. That's the stage I have set to act to trigger the uh, decoration. I had to put a utility wait function on that for a delay because the notification was getting buried by the um, the featured item screen that you get when you get Righteous Authority. You get that little screen with the sound effect for legendary items. I put a delay on that. It works with the console command. But I want to test it in game, so maybe we'll go do that first. All right, Corin Bread, you have a good you night. Can't stop the press. Stay safe, man. 
Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Oh, I love I love the G-Sync. It's I don't know I don't know how it compares to Free Sync, but um It's definitely worth the extra money. For me, anyway. Hey, Grimner, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome. Uh, I just did a little show and tell in the CK and in the actual mod. But what we're doing now is uh, I'm doing some testing. I have a script set up attached to a quest that will track what quests I complete in the game and will enable decorations in my, my player home. So I just kind of gave a rundown on how all that works. I want to just go barrel through some, some quests in God mode for science, finish these up and make sure that everything works. But, um, Astro, Astro Vixen, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, right now, we're just going to, uh, yeah, trophy thing. I don't know if you're familiar, Grimner, with um, the underground hideout mod from New Vegas, but that has this wonderful little thing where as you progress through the game or you get reputation with different factions, it enables decorations in the house. And I'm basically making a Fallout 4 version of Underground. It's called the Underground Hideout. It's based on the Fallout 3 version of it. But I decided to add that invasion, that that um, little feature from the New Vegas version. Yeah, like a trophy thing, exactly. Um, got the idea from the from the New Vegas mod, and I kind of wanted to do it here. So, so I want to just do some basic testing tonight. I I did a few already, you know, console commands, but you can't rely on that to, to make sure things actually just work. So we're going to actually fast travel over to Mr. Longneck Lukowski's. We'll go get the key for the house first. Oh boy, is it dark. I did turn God mode on, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is, I'm not playing with the weather mod, I'm not playing with, uh, Darker Nights. This is a, this is the first time I've really seen Vanilla Nights in forever. So, yep, just like the Fallout 3 version, it's, it's in a Pulowski shelter. And the quest, the key quest... The quest to get the key. The key quest! The quest to get the key! Um, it's taken directly from the Fallout 3 version. About uninvited guests. So you got a key. Don't have the key. And we got a note for Dr. Zimmer. We got a note for Dr. Zimmer. You remember Dr. Zimmer, right? Everybody who plays Fallout 3, you remember Dr. Zimmer. They're at Rivet City. Came looking for A321. Courier Hark... I'm, yeah, Courier Harkness. <laughs> um, yep. So this, this place, the story behind this place is going to be that this was a refuge, kind of a place to get get away from the Institute. This was going to be Dr. Zimmer's remote laboratory. And Dr. Zimmer had some differences with the new director of the Institute. Some of you may know him as Father. Didn't like some of the things that Father was doing. Some of the way he was running things. So he set up this remote location so he could continue his research the way he wanted to. And he had an assistant, helped him get this place set up, Lo and behold, he gets called away on an important mission to the Capital Wasteland. Leaves his assistant in charge of the place. And this note is from the assistant for Dr. Zimmer. Basically saying, well, I know it's probably you're not going to be showing up while I'm gone, but just in case. So we'll grab the note. Uh, I, I'm probably going to change This is a really rough draft. So basically, uh, note for Dr. Zimmer. Yeah, uh, this guy is basically saying, I'm going to find components, yada, yada, yada. Um, so, essentially saying, yeah, I'm going to... There's a course here I was assigned to that has to go to Green Tech Genetics to, to find a runaway synth. I'm going to tag along, go look for some components in that old subway ruin where you found some other things, and, um, and I'll be back, just in case. So when you start, you take the note, it starts the quest. And the name of the quest, Finding Jonathan, is the name of the quest from the Fallout 3 version that you have to go and get the key for the house. So, it's again, it's a nod to the original mod. Um, so, and right here, once we complete the quest, there's a sorting container that will show up here. I decided to have it disabled to prevent people from dumping all their stuff in and then saying things went missing. Because you know that would be a thing. I went and got the quest and came back and my stuff was missing. Um, 
Yeah, it's kind of like a treasure hunt. It's basically just a simple fetch quest. Go clear the dungeon, get the key, and come back and unlock the house. Pretty much. So when you get the key, there'll be a, um, a sorting container here. The usual sorting container that dumps your inventory. Of course, the, uh, the trash incinerator there. I've shown you guys that before. But if you sh show up here, you're overloaded. There's this nice little storage container here that does not reset. The entire cell doesn't reset, so... Because um, that would be bad. This is actually my first foray into doing quest, Grimner. This little fetch quest I'm doing, very first quest thing I've ever done uh, along these lines, other than a quest to do something in the background. Like I was mentioning before, the when I um, set up a house and I have the name, the player's name show up on like a bed or a terminal, that's actually done with a quest. And if you go to Sedden 4494s YouTube channel, you're probably familiar with him. Does a lot of quest mods. He has excellent tutorials on quests. And his tutorial helped me get this little fetch quest going, and it worked the first time. I couldn't couldn't believe it worked. Uh, I had to do a little bit of research on how to get the uh, the on read event for the note. So there's basically a script attached to the note. There's an on read event that when you read the note, it triggers the quest. So, uh, and that was, uh, that was relatively easy. So we got to go. So the actually quest location shows up. It points you towards green tech genetics, but that's not actually where we're going. We're going next to it. I think I showed you guys. Yeah, we did. We went and tested out the cell before, but I actually have the quest integrated to it now. So the quest marker is pointing us over there. So, and it even says search for Jonathan in the subway ruin. And we got the quest in the quest log. Search for Jonathan in the subway ruins. So let's go search for Jonathan in the subway ruins, shall we? Um, let me make a save here, too. It's so weird not playing with Darker Nights. Oh, yeah, his, t his tutorials are probably the best uh, creation kit tutorials for, uh, for Fallout 4 stuff. And I've actually found a lot of stuff in uh, Skyrim tutorials. Those are very, very helpful as well. There's a lot of the stuff cross-pollinates to Fallout 4. Not everything, but a lot more than, uh, than a lot of people realize. So, uh, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this before, but if you do uh, come to Green Tech Genetics before you get the Hunter Hunted quest, guess what? You can't get in there. It's completely blocked off. And if you come over here, this is where the quest marker's taken us. If uh, you come over here... Before you get the quest, the, the load door is not here. The load door is initially disabled. The exit door is initially disabled. Once you get the quest, then then the doors open up. That's to prevent people from going in the cell before they get the quest, get the key. Key won't be there until you get the quest. The quest is the key is actually generated in a container by the quest. So even if you went in there, there'd be no key. If I ever modded Skyrim, I've played on modded Sky I've played modded Skyrim, but I've never made mods myself for it. No. I've I only have about 150-ish, 120 hours in Skyrim, so I've never made mods for it. But my one and only playthrough so far is modded. Don't like users breaking quests? I love it. I love it. So we Can got a quest marker. A damn thing? Should have. Again, this... Uh oh. Oh. Doesn't look bad. Sorry, dog meat. <laughs> so yeah, I we did this last week. We went through this cell and set everything up. I've made a few tweaks to where the NPCs were placed. <laughs> what the? Yeah, Piper. Piper has the mini gun, and, and I have the mod that gives her the unlimited ammo. So yeah, but uh, it's a little. Little room here, there'll be some loot in it for you. Ugh. Oh, I hope this stuff is dust. It's not dust, Piper. It's not dust. You should be good to just the head down here. Oh. Yeah, the doors are actually oh. custom asset, another modder made, right and here. is letting me use a uh, Cleve Gaddafi. Has that wonderful enclave remnants bunker made those old school style doors and it's letting me use them a bunch of other his other assets like there's this one here this is locked i'm not going to bother unlocking this right now but i love those old school doors who who we 
should be clear until we get around the corner here. And of course, I'll go back and change all this now that you guys have seen it all. How can you even see where we're going? Huh? Uh. 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 Come to that. Just die already. Hmm. Uh, down he goes. Hey, something's out there. Something's out there. Piper would make a great, a great uh, super mutant. Good thing I'm in God mode. I'd be dead. <laughs> I thought she was already. Yeah. Uh, the doors are modeled after, not specifically Enclave doors, but they are modeled after the doors from the older games. Yeah, utility doors. Yep. Not specifically Enclave, though. So you'll have, uh, all looks like some of the loot went flying. It should be up there. You know what this place could use? Cover. So you notice, if you guys were here for last week's stream, I have uh, kind of significantly cut down the number of uh, NPCs. Uh, there's only one turret there now instead of the two. I got rid of the Mr. Handy, or I'm sorry, the Mr. Gutsy. It was a little little too much. So I've, I've kind of thinned things out a little bit, but it hopefully it'll still be fun. I didn't want it to be too crazy. So let him, uh, they should just be sandboxing. In fact, if I back up here. I did adjust their, uh, so she's going to go to sleep. All right, cool. Oh, that's right, it's night. All right. Yes, one of them is set to sleep during the night. Funny that they all spawned in as women, but hey, that's fine. Equality, right? Why this remind you of a location from Fallout 3? Well, another little trade secret. I kind of modeled this cell after the, uh, the cell from World of Pain, uh, the Talon Company Metro, it's essentially the same layout. And the layout of the furniture and the clutter is very, very similar to that. I use that as a as a model. Uh, because it's just a very, very cool cell. Hey, Ash. No, no, I definitely cut down on the number of NPCs. I think it's going to be a, a little, Blue, we're not alone. a little more better. That and Piper has a mini gun. Is that you? Okay, you have. That's it. Yeah, I did have a Mr. Gutsy here patrolling, but it um, it was a little much, so I got rid of him. The cell just isn't big enough to have as many enemies as I had. If it was a bigger cell, the number of enemies I initially had would have been fine. Oh, there goes Piper. She's that's that's why I like having Piper along. Although Piper, that's not quite the chair. That's not quite the chair, Piper. Completely, completely unplayable now, Piper. Thanks. Well, Oops. if anyone could. I actually meant to turn the radio off. It. So what I want to do here, I did do the nav mesh by hand. Yeah, I don't trust the automated nav meshing. It doesn't really take that long. And actually, fish. To be honest, I find nav meshing to be relaxing. I enjoy. I actually enjoy nav meshing. She's thigh hugging the table leg. Is that what it is? Uh, so I don't have... This is the other big thing I got to do is go... I have a shit ton of terminal entries to do. So essentially, the, the gist is that uh, Dr. Zimmer's assistant that we just uh, read the note from, that he kind of got himself caught by the gunners and killed to death. But he had this password on him. And we're going to need that password to get out of here. So... She's on the edge of her seat. She's so excited. Well, you know, maybe you're on the something can do. Uh, there's no there's no toilets here for her to go and sit on and test out. So maybe maybe she's trying to tell me something. Maybe she's trying to tell me something. 
make a save here. You've got uh, just some clutter and a little bit of loot in here. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. It's practically junk. It's practically junk. So we still got the quest marker there. It's counting down as we get closer to where we gotta go. This is normal for other journalists. Should be more. Yep. Oh, he's got a plasma gun. Get him, Pepper. Pepper with the minigun. I'm gonna take that. Alright, TC. Thanks for coming hanging out, man. Thanks for coming to say hello. Take care of yourself, and I, I I wish you nothing but the best. Speedy recovery. Catch you next time, man. Right, I'm actually gonna, gonna use this. So, you got them. And there's like another little... Another little base here. That they have set up. And, uh... Get this over with, shall we? And then, yeah, there's power armor. I, I, that's the other thing. I, I wasn't here the last time as I put this power armor station here. I figured I'd put the gunner commander in the power armor. They're probably going to want a power armor station. So, And like I said before, everything is just... Vanilla, they're just from the vanilla level, uh, leveled actor list. So if you're using a mod that adds uh, things to the gunner level list, they should likely spawn. I don't see why they wouldn't. And there's a little bit of loot there. But, oh, I didn't want to do that. But there's only one turret instead of two. I thought two was a little much. Pawa Irma. Irma. Pawa. All right, so yeah, you will need that password to get in here. Although I think I have this set. I have to go back and look. Hey, you still there? I think you do need the password to get in here. I have to go back and double check because now I can't remember. I know you need the password to get out. So we need to open the door. We'll unlock the door. I can barely see in here. And yep, there he is. Poor Jonathan Mosley in his clean blue suit. Just trying to help Dr. Zimmer. Didn't end well for him. But he's got this wonderful key over here. Prisoner's belongings. Who could do something like that? I don't know. I don't know, Piper. Who could do something like that? So once we get the key... You now have the key to unlock the door to the underground hideout. Inventory sorting container has been enabled next to the ladder in the hideout entrance way for you to sort and store your inventory after a long day exploring the wasteland. Enjoy. And that's it. We completed the quest to get a little XP for it. We got a house. And he also had an institute pistol and a dirty lab coat. Uh, Dr. Zimmer from uh, Fallout 3 is the guy that's at Rivet City. Where did she go? Oh, oh my. I knew she was going to do that. <laughs> oh my. Now I need Uncle Lander's... Toys in here. Yeah, I need Uncle Lander's uh, George Decay sound. Oh my. <laughs> All right. I actually was kind of hoping she would do that, just to see what it would look like, and oh my. <laughs> the sound file and the court disco. Yeah, that would be cool, Lander. I, I, I think I need to, uh, I think I need to use that. So this, uh, yeah, you definitely need to get out, I think you need definitely the password for this one. And there's, there's no way in from the outside. There's no terminal on the outside, so you need to go through the dungeon to unlock this. And 
And now we can leave. Yay. Yeah, I, uh... I was half expecting her to do that, and I'm, I'm glad she didn't disappoint. I could put, uh... I, I could make it static. But that would be no fun. That would be no fun at all. Alright, so that works. So now we can go back to the house. And we'll unlock the door. And we'll go into the, uh... The armory, we can double check to make sure that that uh, Minuteman flag is done because of that quest that I completed already. Will this playthrough? This is not a this is not a playthrough. This is not a playthrough. Actually, this is we're just testing my mod tonight. That's it. It's for science. I'm testing in God mode. And using console commands to unlock stuff. This is not an actual playthrough. This is strictly for mod testing. My next playthrough, I have no idea. I probably won't be using power armor in my next playthrough, if that's what you're asking. For science! Yeah, actually, I'm pro I probably won't be doing power armor. I there's I may use one set of specific power armor, but I'm not going to be. It's going to be a no crafting run, so that means power armor I probably wouldn't be repairing it. Um, Ooh, someone's not interested in visitors. So there's our sorting container that got enabled, so I can actually go and sort some of this stuff. Oh, what else did I get here? Anything? Yeah, we'll sort some of this stuff out. Just, just cuz. Right, so now we should be able to open... Well, let me turn God Mode off here. Do this. Um... I'll show you guys this. Do I have any... I have some raw meat there with some rads. And I have rad roach meat. Get a few rads. I know I've showed this to you guys before. So I got some rad damage here. So when we unlock the door... And I step inside. Now, I did fix this. We'll let, uh, we'll let Piper go in there. I did fix this from the last time. Look at that. She's not setting off the decon unit. Yeah. Um, there's a little thing on the trigger I forgot to add uh, for player-only activation. So, we got that problem fixed. But when I go in here... Oh, no. I got the rads. I'm contaminated. And it took him away. There we go. Yep. Took away my rads. And then I get the fast travel notification. And what that does is it activates a map marker on the outside. So if you're using fast travel, you can fast travel here. And it will directly deposit you. You'll fast travel literally to right here. Oh. Let this do a thing. There's a switch here. You can turn off the detox system if you want. Contaminated. It's tape room girl. That's true. Um, you can just disable that. This detox system has been deactivated. So now when I go through, it's not going to keep going off. Oh, let me go to the magic healing pool first. I'll heal up there. And uh, I did finally retexture the institute couch. Turns out there's some unused Institute furniture textures that I found. And uh, it had this really nice red and uh, off-white color. But I replaced the white with like a metallic overlay on it. So that's more or less a vanilla texture. But it's better than just the plain white. Um, so we gotta go to the basement. Oh, the radio system. I got that going. Uh, select Diamond City Radio. Classical radio, you know, once you get the Minutemen station up and running, you could do that if you want. Hey, uh, it's Travis. Well, there's this article in uh, the newspaper. And the radio should be playing in the basement, too. I mean, I, hey, Flatty Pants. I'm not saying. I'm not, I'm not saying Piper's going to go hang out in there. Okay. So we'll come down to the hideout, into the armory. We'll go check if that flag is activated. Which it should be. And you know, of 
course it's the mayor. I mean... Yep, radio's on. I mean, I was, uh, we'll I, go I, and I, hit the lights. Say, oh, did the, uh, oh, the mannequins didn't... Th ah, I haven't had that happen yet. That's interesting. The mannequins didn't didn't load. Yeah, that's a thing. That happens sometimes with those. Let me quit the game and reload it. That happens with those armor mannequins. Sometimes they don't load. Possible to disable the quick saving message? Yes, you can turn off your quick saves. Turn off quick saves and auto saves. And that will disable that. Come on, game. Yeah, those those workshop mannequins. Sometimes I've I've had people say that they don't. Sometimes they don't look. That's the first, like the second time in all the times I've ever used them that, that that's happened. Usually you quit and reload. Happen with your little bunker with the mannequin. Yeah, it, it's 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 a thing because they're actually actors. I think sometimes they just don't spawn in for whatever reason. But usually quitting and reloading fixes it. We'll see if that does. I may have to load from an earlier one here. Yeah, I always turn off auto saves. Auto saves are bad. Quick saves are bad. There we go. Bing. So there's all our mannequins now. And we can turn this on. No, this is just like the Fallout 3 version has that. Have you had that happen too, can you? Yeah, I think that's like the second time I've ever had it. All right, there's our Minuteman flag. So I did the Minuteman quest, the very first Minuteman quest to get Preston and the crew out of sanctuary, out of uh, the museum before I installed the mod. And the game detected that I had finished that quest and activated the flag. So, mad Mulligan's mad. Hey, Speed Geezer, how you doing? Yes. Auto saves are bad, okay? Alright, so let's turn this light on here. I'm gonna turn the radio off too. Okay, so so the original mod, the original Fall 3 mod, the armory door is always locked when you come in here. There's a trigger Hello. that when you leave closes and locks the door. And I'm doing that as well. But you'll be able to disable that if you so desire. Um oh the radio is in here. Hey Prozac, how you doing? Thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. All right, we're going to turn the off. radio off. So you can... Actually, we'll turn it over to classical music. We'll see how that does. That's one way to keep out uninvited guests. Yeah, so this will be the armory. Uh, most of you guys have seen this already. I've got uh, two uh, fading signals workbenches here from his compact crafting. He's letting me use. I just thought that they fit the look and feel of the mod pretty well. And I, I absolutely love the H&H &H Tools logo. Hey, Evan Holland, how you doing? Uh, so I've got those. He's letting me add those. Uh, the QA containers will be going away, so you won't be getting all the free stuff. But just since we're here, I'm going to take all the ammos. Adam, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome. Uh, this is just exactly the same exactly how the Fallout 3 sorting system works. The Fallout 3 mod. Uh, so you come over here to sort out ammunition. It takes all my ammunition, puts it into all these containers. You see that? I got all that ammunition there now. And if I come back in here, if I had mine's grenade, yeah, it took uh, my Molotov is in there. What did I had frag grenades? Oh no, I have to sort that separately. Uh, sort explosives. Now my frag grenades are in there. All right, so if you come back here, stock the shells. You look out here. Pippers found something to do. That's good. Uh, these empty shelves should now come to life. So everything, all the ammo boxes are labeled with the proper ammo. If you're using uh, ammo from a mod, I know there's a lot of different gun mods that have different calibers for things. If they have the proper ammo type keyword on them, they will get sorted here. If not, they just probably won't get sorted. Um, miscellaneous ammo will go here. But if uh, mod, modded ammo has the proper keyword on it, the ammo type keyword on it, it'll get sorted here. If it doesn't, it 
you can literally add it. It's so it's so easy to do. Um, if your stream's cutting in and out, it's probably Twitch. You may want to refresh the page here, because everything looks good on my end. Twitch is being twitchy again. Um, so, come over here. Stock the shelves. And magically, the shelves are stocked. With all that wonderful ammo, you can come in and restock. And when I take 10 millimeter rounds off the shelf, it adds 12. And it adds 12. And it adds 12. And then, if you have any more ammo left in the actual containers, you can restock from those. Basically, what this does is it checks the the 10 millimeter container in this case. Do I have at least 12 in there? I do. Well, I'm going to add another one of these little guys here. So this will restock from the reserves over there, and it just it's pretty cool. Hmm. Um, so what do I have? I need... I'm just going to... Since I'm in God mode, so I'm just going to take that. I'm going to take... Uh, let's see. I need some microfusion cells. I did name them microfusion cells, by the way. But they sh that's the proper name for them. Take some of those. Um, what else do I need? I need that... So I need 10 millimeter, I need 45, and I need that. Okay, where's my 45s? Shotgun shells. Oh, shotgun shells are back this way. Okay, that's it. So that's, that's the armory. And weapons will kind of sort the same way, but uh, these are, these are manual weapon racks, so... They're, they're, basically, all these are, they're the Contraptions DLC weapon racks. I just retextured them. So you got long racks for your long arms, short arms, and your ammunition. We got it covered. There's Prilator case. Turn that off. Yes, MF cells, as it should be. And magazine racks. There'll be more magazine racks than most people will probably ever use. But if you're using a mod that adds magazines... I think there's like 120 spaces will be here. And feel free to test the grips. <laughs> Alright, so I think it's time to go and do a quest here. I think I want to go swing by Good Neighbor and pick up um, Public Knowledge from Daisy. That actually would be a good one to go start with. I'm thinking. Let me think here. Tradecraft, Unlikely Valentine. I kind of wanted to do the Brotherhood quest. Let's go do the Brotherhood quest first. I don't have that actually... Um... I think there's another good test here. Did I set this for fast travel from in here? I can't remember if I did or not. I know the house is. Did you get your uh, stream refresh there, Prozac? Uh, so we're going to have to go to um, College Square. But for now, let's have it over. Yep, I do have it set. All right, cool. So you can fa I have it set that if you're using fast travel, you can fast travel from both inside the house or the um, or the armory. Okay, let's go. Uh... Oops, I don't have God mode on. That's very important. All right. You know what? I was gonna wait, but it's not that dark. We can deal with it. And I'm just in easy, even though I'm in God mode, I'm still in, in uh, easy mode. I'm in normal. I'm not doing survival because, you know, we're just, we're just testing. I do have Pip-Boy Flashlight installed. It's one of the few mods I have. Yeah, what time is it anyway? That's a good... 4.46 a.m. Yeah, yeah, this is so weird not playing with darker nights. Uh, let's get the quest actually activated here. Let's do that. Oh, it is. Okay. This is so weird playing almost vanilla. Hey, here's trouble. Scribe Halen does... Whoops. Oh, shit, I didn't get my grenades. I'll use my bat. I forgot to get my grenades back. So I get more I get more magazines. Whoops. Alright. 
Drive Halen doesn't have the hoodless BOS hat. Totally unplayable. I heard something. Yeah, I heard something. He's right behind you, Dan. Piper with the minigun. <laughs> what was that? That it? Speak to Paladin Dance. Hey. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Uh, I'm just trying to... The way you charged in and engaged... Are you from a local city? Mm -hmm. Um, from Vault 111, wherever that is. I'm from Boom. Vault 111. You're a vault. Right. Most people would... If I appear since the moment... Sure. If you want to continue... I'm just going to skip through all this. We just want to do the quest. Uh, huh. I'll continue to help, but you owe me... An Inquiring minds want to know. Very well. I'm over there. Describe... We're on recon duty. I've been trying... Describe Bitter this. Cup. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we Vault need. Vault Dweller, what are those? Range transmitter. <laughs> we in so what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood Scribe of Steel bitter a cap. Hand? Yeah, I played so long with the scribeless, uh, with the scribeless, with the hoodless scribe hat. It just so, it looks so wrong seeing her that way. It's unnatural. Uh, let's get moving so we get this quest done. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. JD, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. All right, Dance, you go on in. I was just about to do the KH2 to get rid of them. Come on, Dance, do your thing. Get dancing, Dance. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. But you all, you all know damn well the dog meat's civilian. still going to get stuck in the it's door. He will become work. stuck meat Head once we get the inside. Station and resupply you know that's going to be a thing. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. You know what's even worse than the, uh, than the scribe hat? What's even worse than that? Vanilla perk chart. Vanilla perk chart. And I apparently have this set to give me three perk points per level. I don't remember doing that, but... Yeah, the vanilla perk chart. Oh, the humanity. I have not played with a vanilla perk chart in at least four years. Ever since Level Up Menu X came out, I've, I've ditched this monstrosity. You know, I'm not even going to bother leveling up because it just doesn't matter. I am going to save, though. All right, call to arms. That's what we got to do. We just want to do this. Do the thing. I forgot that I don't have Level, men level Up Menu X installed. Boy, shudder. And he stuck me to everybody. Stuck meat. Meat stuck meat. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. You ready to move out? Yep, let's get this over with. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. And that's the only time he does that. So you're gonna patch me up, or what? I don't know. Your prognosis Or we could just leave grim. the cell. Might be more humane. Fast travel over there and get everything done before dance. Because, you know, that won't break anything. We'll take this alley. Follow me. Yeah, all right. I will follow you. Totally will follow you. Our jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals in Vestic Cambridge. The main reason I want to do this, Traveling no, this well, I want to make sure that it works, but I also need to test that, that delay that I put on after the I'd featured item screen when you get Righteous Authority. Look at all the bodies. We don't know much about them. Must resist Except looting. Short -lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned. Whoever or whatever is oh, I still do have my ENB, though. I won't play without the ENB. So that's vanilla. That's the ENB. I can't play with vanilla lighting. Sorry. <laughs> Just can't. 
following dance is mandatory. Mockery and laughter are optional. Pretty much. Alright, we're not even gonna bother with that. Oh, did I kill the Brahmin? <laughs> oh. The Brahmin died too. No. Over the last seven years, two other Save them. The Why would I do that? The first team's mission was a hey, you know what? This place up here? I'm not entirely sure, but I've heard it's run entirely by robots. The second was Can the anyone origin. confirm that? Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them. They haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. Been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up blah, missing. blah, blah. Alright, yes, yes. Here we go. Yay. Done. <laughs> yeah, they're all, they're scripted to die. Scripted to die. In a world where NPCs are scripted to die. Where are those dogs? Shouldn't those dogs be here by now? Oh, no, they're... Oh, oh, I killed them. Oh, no. I killed the dogs. Come on. Come on, dance. Come on, dance. You're holding up my, my, uh, my agenda here. Come on. Move on. Move out there, soldier. Ro robots of unusual size? I don't believe they exist. It's, I, 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 tr I believe it's true. Although the place run by robots, I think that's fake news. Although I think to see the robots of unusual size, don't you need to take the wild commonwealth trait? For that to happen? Wah, wah. Come on, dance. How'd you get to be a paladin going so slow? Come on. He's just standing there now. Oh, you know what it is? I'm not following him. Because, uh, you know. There we go. Brothers! Gonna splatter your... You're gonna splatter what now? <laughs> Brothers! <laughs> That sound, what is it? Yeah, when he says follow, he means follow. Paladin dance. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and by the book. Understood? Yeah, there's a part in this in this cell in Arcjet before you go into the uh, the engine core that he there's a bathroom. I would say Three quarters of the time I do this quest, he goes into that bathroom, he just hangs out. And he will not leave. He will not follow me. He will not move, even if I'm in the room waiting for him to leave. I am. Um, but if you go to the next cell, then he just magically catches up. Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. All right. Yeah. Paladin Buzz Lightyear. Yes, yes. You gotta get him the Buzz Lightyear uh, power armor for sure. Uh, Speakies, you had him get stuck in that room too? Yeah. It's, I'd say at least three quarters of the time I do this quest that happens. Or close close to 50% anyway. Watch him make a liar out of me now. It was on, corporations dance. like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they've done. Sure. Yeah, we're not going to go looting. We're not going to get magazines. We're just going to do the thing and get the hell out of here. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. Um, I see I that. I see that. Damn it. I was hoping to avoid this. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. Why no looting? I'll tell you why no looting. This is this is a test, a test session. We are not actually playing. I'm testing a mod. We do not need to loot. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. There is no looting. We do not need to loot. I just need to. I'm basically testing a mod. I, I need to. 
complete the quest of salvage that the Brotherhood might be for a script to trigger. After we're done here, we'll have to... So there's no point in me looting because it's for science. Hey, Vish. All right, you have a good night, Vish. Thanks for coming and hanging out. You have a good night. We'll catch you later. Get some sleep. Park this place for sweep and retrieve. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. Find a way to get the door open. Uh, yes. Hello. I'm gonna Found In fact, not only are we not gonna loot, we're not gonna fight. Sent them back to hell. Bam. Send, sensor reading. send them back sensor to hell. Reading. It would appear my target. Systems offline. Systems offline. <laughs> hey, Barbarian Jim, how you doing? That'll make things a little easier for uh, for the Paladin. I could have missed the thing that's important. But that thing, you gotta get that thing. Like the desk fan. Damn All right, I will take the desk fan. The I will take the uh, ceremonial desk fan. Remain vigilant. Got I can test the trash incinerator. I'll take that. There. There. I looted. I looted. That's why I took it. I, I took the desk ban for JT. That's one for JT. Look at him. He's going right past the damn bathroom. This is the bathroom that he gets stuck in. This one right here. He'll go in here. He'll hang out here and he'll get stuck. Now he actually goes down the damn stairs. Look at this. Engine cores ahead. Our final stop. Look at that. He made a freaking liar out of it. I'm telling you. You just starting this quest, Jim? Well, we're just running through this in God mode. I'm, I'm testing one of my mods. I have a script for my player home mod that activates decorations in the house after you complete a quest. So I'm literally just plowing through the quest to test to test a script Watch essentially. Looks like the power's out in this section. So we're not actually playing, we're just doing this for science. Ice and Cisco, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Barbarian Jim just subscribed. Popo Paw with a gift sub for Barbarian Jim. Thank you very much, Popo Paw. Appreciate that. At the top of the core. Thank you. It looks like very, the elevator. Very dead. very kind we'll of you. We'll have to keep heading down for now. Jim, way to get the facilities Enjoy that gift sub. Online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. Thank you very much, Popo Paul. Paul. Appreciate that. Alright, should I even bother? Nah, we're not gonna bother with the junk jet or anything. We're just we just need to do this and get the hell out of Dodge. Yes, we will be using console commands quite a bit for this experiment. But I'm still gonna fry Paladin Dance's keyster. Engine core power restored. You got the dog in here? Yep. We're still gonna Thermal do the thing. Because why not? By for your it's science, everyone. Command it's accepted. science. <laughs> Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. This is just fun to watch anyway. Three. Oh, he says, don't just stand there. No, I'm just gonna stand there. Two. One. Don't just do something, stand there! Engine firing. See me dance like a lobster's the best part? Yeah, yeah. It, it took me a few playthroughs to realize you could do this. And I'd have to fight them. Science! Was the arc jet engine test, test completed? The With test engine rating jet engine test of arc jet. percent Yeah, normally I'd be going through and looting all the fusion cells and everything, but we don't need to do that. Oh my god, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames, but thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Uh, also, voice protagonist. I haven't played with voice protagonist in several playthroughs, so yeah. 
Found out the first time because you can't resist a red button. Oh, actually, now that you mention it, Mad Dog, I, I did activate this the first time. I didn't close the blast doors, though. And I, I didn't know what it did, and I came out here, I got fried. I was like, yeah, I won't be doing that again. It wasn't until, like, three other uh, playthroughs I realized you could close the doors. Yeah. Going up. Must push button. Yeah, I, I pushed the red button. That I didn't close the door, though. They're in the, control, detected. Room. They're in the control room. What Come shall on. we do? What shall we do? I hope that's the last of them. Damn it! I don't see the device anywhere. Oh, I just Bad saw the... Check the synth remains. They may have been after the transmitter as well. I just saw. Ah, oh, there it is. I, I I saw which one had the transmitter. The quest thing showed up for a minute. I Let's can get out something here. if you need me to. We'll take the service elevator to the service. Okay. Go ahead. Go on, dance. Oh, you're waiting for me. You're waiting for me. All right, let's drop a save here because I want to test this real quick here when we get up here. Um, yeah, the part that I need Going to test up. is is approaching here. Yeah, if you don't turn the engine on, the synths keep falling for infinite fusion cells. I, I don't remember. It's been so long since I've done it that way. Well, he actually says take the service elevator to the surface. It sounds like surface elevator, but it's service elevator. All right, this is what I need to test here, so let's drop a save again. Hey, Javopi. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Um, we did fine. Smoother? I thought we did fine. Uh, Dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. Hmm, I thought we worked well as a team. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal okay. modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Yay. And... we get it? Yes! Okay, there's my little debug message. Call the arms quest done. We should get the notification. Yay! It worked. Alright. Don't you need it? Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a... We had a lot. Our options. Oh, There's no this. doubt. The way I see it, you could spend or right. So, sure. Sure. Um. Sure. I'd, I'd be, be honored. honored to join. Yeah. Is honored the word? Oh, Pepper. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. Okay. All right. We're not doing that. All right. That that is done. I got the debug message and the notification. So what we got to do now? is uh we're gonna go back home we're gonna test the uh the fast travel thingy here we're down in the basement and make sure that that flag enabled your pc reminds me of a woman you work with it's basically can it's it's the default nora that's it's default nora with a shaggy hair and i don't i think the glasses from the vault this is i actually did this is character is i've been testing with mods with her for probably four years now Vanilla, absolutely no mods. Done the, the generic vanilla vault quest and made a save right outside the vault. And that's where I, I start my testing with her. It's generic Nora. Alright, we got the Doge. We got Pipper. And we got a Brotherhood flag. It worked. Yay! Genora. <laughs> Alright, so that one worked. That is a success. So we're going to save that. 
And I think what we can do is let's uh, let's go let's go do um tell you what let's go over to Good Neighbor. We'll pick up uh, public knowledge from Daisy. We'll go get Nick. So I can get the, uh, we should get the, uh, the Valentine's Detective sign show up there. And then we can go do the library. And then when we come back from doing both of those, we should get the books. The overdue book should show up right there, and we should get Nick's sign. And then we'll see what time it is. Um, where did Pipper go? I'm just curious where she's sandboxed. Is she going here? I feel like I need to take yeah. my shoes off in here. Yeah, she's in here. All right. All right, all right, Mad Dog. Yeah, we're just gonna go do some uh, some shoot 'em ups here in a little bit. Um, we'll catch you later. Well, I got a lot of work to do on this, though. I'm j I'm just wanting to get the uh, the script tested, but we'll catch you later, man. Hey, Legionary, how you doing? All right, so I have not been to the Good Neighbors yet on this character. So, um, what am I looking for here? Yeah. Let's go talk to Daisy. We'll get that, and then we'll go over to, uh... Pack Street Station, change for the red line. Hey, hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Mm -hmm. Insurance? That's right. You hand over every... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time... We'll just let Hancock do guessed. his thing. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk Oh, uh, the combat armor all my gears from a bat file. Be a new I have a bat Come file on, that I run. Man. This is that, me uh, we're I use for about. testing. Let me tell you something. Gives me weapons, no, armor, don't some don't chems, some junk, a huh? bunch Making of stuff to test with. Over here. You all right, sister? Uh, yeah, we're fine. You killed you him. You killed Very him. Good, good neighbors of the people. Yeah, I feel you. Good. So long. All right. Come on, Daisy, you're up. Give me a quest, Daisy. Give me that oh, sweet, sweet quest. Your face walks in. Uh -huh. Got any work? Got any work? I do, actually. Super mute. You get sure. Ah, uh, we're just gonna take it. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Don't care about the don't care about the caps. Right, let's go do Nick's quest first. And then we'll do uh those two, and then we'll go check and see if those uh things are activated. We're just gonna go that way. I just, I think I just heard the sandwich guys over there. <laughs> the two guys arguing about sandwiches? I, I, I think I, I think I heard them. I like house mods that make you collect stuff. Well. I'm going to have 120 magazine racks in this mod. And the bobbleheads. So, there you go. <laughs> Joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. Yeah, I still yeah, yeah. Just been waiting all day. day for that. Was wondering how far they would let me in here <laughs> before they. uh... <laughs> well, there'd be if you're talking about the magazine racks. Uh, there's not that many in the game, so if you're using mods that add more, you'll should have room for those. And we're just gonna say goodbye. Say goodnight, Irene. Hey, Javopi, how you doing? I don't know if I missed you before. If I missed you before, I apologize. How you doing? We can just run. We'll run and do the thing. I don't know how they were they were dead when I got there. I have no idea why they were all dead when I got here. I don't understand that.
Oh, with the DLC, there's 131? Is there really that many? Holy shit. All right, I take that back then, Lilac. You made a liar out of me. Hundred and twenty one in vanilla, okay. I'm pretty sure there's a hundred and twenty. Why did I think it was more than that? Or less than that? Uh, I use KAH. If you do KAH, it only kills hostiles. Kill all hostiles. Yeah, kill all will will injure your, your companions for sure. That's why I use KAH. It just does the hostiles. I wanna do it on this guy here. Oh see, he's already dead. They're already dead already. I'll do it again. Yeah, I always use K-A-H. These guys are probably dead, too. Thanks, Lilac. Now I gotta quit. Just gotta put more magazine racks Why the hell would anyone build a so, vault out of a subway station? Wait for dog meat this place and Pepper like to get down here? Come on, Pepper. Airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. Okay, we'll do K-A-H again. <laughs> so they're dead. <laughs> Dog meat and Pipper are fine. Oh, okay, well, well, Pipper's up there somewhere, so I don't know where the hell she is, but... It doesn't work like if you have an, um, an ambush marker set up and the enemy hasn't been triggered yet, it won't work. You have to wait until they uh, get triggered and... Um, and turn hostile. Like, these guys may... Are, I don't know if these guys are disabled until you come down here. Nah, they must be dead, too. Yep, they're dead. One magazine is... Oh, that's right. There's that one that, that's a duplicate. I know the one you're talking about. Yep, they're all dead already. Okay. That's fine. K-A-H, your initials. Oh, Kelly. I'm sorry, Speed Geezer. I'm not, I'm not going to get used to that, man. I'm going to keep... Uh, going to keep slipping. Going to keep slipping. <laughs> but I, I... I didn't know that. Kill all humans. I have to make maybe squeeze another couple of those rotating magazine racks in now. Nick, this is going to be the easiest escape ever. Oh my god, I'm not using the. Uh, How are you doing in there, Valentine? The have ball three hungry? textures, vanilla ball mad. textures. Ah. Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump we'll you do this. off. Come on, Dino, turn the good. You held your own there, Blue. Hey, you! I don't know who you are, but we got. Oh, three... Normally, Nick, I would uh, do Minutes this the right way, but they realize muscle... we're not. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. I don't love the irony there we of go. the reverse damsel in distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old... Yeah, and it's so weird because I've been playing for Start Me Up for so many years. I have not done a vanilla playthrough with this dialogue in years. It's so weird to see it. I'm tracking a murderer. So, you need a little angel of vengeance, huh? Uh -huh. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm... Hey, Deckard. All right, Nick, let's go. Lone's crew here used there to she be is. small time. The Inspector Must General. Of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. Well, we're, we're um... We're doing science, Duckard. Now we're just kind of skipping through some quests. Hold on, I hear some of them coming. There they In are. the God modes, I'm I'm How testing um this? a script on my mod that uh, activates decorations after long. you complete quests. Hey, Dino, and we're just doing the science thing. In fact, we're gonna do uh, those happy little initials there, and off we go to the races, just like that. There was nothing left. Oh, that's, I have a mechanical keyboard. You know, the Nick says hard and loud. Because I have a mechanical keyboard, apparently. 
<laughs> so yeah, I've got um, doors on the fret. Underground, the underground hideout, Decker. You may or may not be familiar with the, the New Vegas version. How it ha well, you've obviously, I, I think you do because you, you know New Vegas pretty well. It has that uh, feature, whereas you complete quests in the game and gain the um, reputation with the factions and enables the decorations in the house. That's what I'm testing because I'm doing that. So once we finish Nick Valentine's quest, I should get a Valentine's Detective Agency uh, sign on the wall. We just plowed through doing the Arcjet mission with Paladin Dance. It gave me righteous authority. It enabled the Brotherhood of Steel Flag in the house. Let me so, see if I can get it open. But we're just doing it for science in the God modes. Almost got there. With console are. commands. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock is. Because all the I care about side. is testing that the script works. I did do some preliminary testing with console commands, but you gotta play it. You can't uh, can't rely on the the console command stuff what because the? quests Say are a weird thing. Three. Say hello to my little K A H. Didn't even break a sweat. Not that it's an option. Yep, exactly, exactly. Making sure that shit works, that it just works. Remember, Moffat threw the added trophies to the Megaton house. More yeah, I wish the um, I wish the Fall Three version of Underground Hideout had that. Instructor. This is the quickest I've ever done this quest. How about that? Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh. Ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Do your thing, Nikki. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. A lot of his quests are easy to break with Once commands, especially if you have door, triggers you don't know anything. about. Exactly. Could have a script fragment. It could have something that references another objective. Uh, it could something that references an alias, and if you if you miss that. There's also, as I was writing this script and trying to figure out what stages to set things for, there's also stages that the wiki and other sources don't even show. So once we complete a, you complete a certain quest, there may be a couple of cleanup stages after it that actually complete the quest. So if you're just flailing around throwing console commands at something, not only can you break it, well, you, can, you will break, you can and will break it, but you also will miss certain script fragments or other functions that will not let you complete the quest. It's still going to be running. Even though it may not show up in your pit boy, technically it's still running there in the background. So, yeah, it's it's really easy to, to bork things by doing console commands and quests. Very easy to dig yourself a deeper hole. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys, and they cannot. Well, the other, because a, a, a quest may reference another quest, may be tied to another quest that you have to complete something for for to progress. And the wiki won't show you that either, and console commands won't tell you that. It's it's How much. This is gonna set yeah. me back. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell it to right. I don't know what my often. what's my charisma here. I guess maybe, uh, you yeah, know, let's save Darla. Let's see if we can save Darla. Oh, Why not? Poor little Valentine. A shame you maybe Todd used console commands on 76. I'll just run back home to Daddy. Stranger Shut things have happened. Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him. But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Darla, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. A save often of something, Brits. Exactly. Save early, save often. Yeah, your best way out of something that's broken is to load an earlier save. Yep. May You may lose several hours of progress. 
but I'd rather have losing a couple hours than losing, oh, I don't know, a hundred hours into a playthrough and having something like that. Yeah. Um, hey, I'm talking to you. Darla, listen to me. Don't you try to confuse oh, sure. All right, I guess that didn't work. Come on, we don't have to do this. Hmm. Not so much for Skinny Malone. <laughs> he's lighter or heavier with all those holes in him. Oh, the bullets probably. What bullet holes? Good night, sweet friends. It's going to be an awkward conversation with Darla's parents. When I've I never. I don't remember if I've ever. One. Well, at least the case is closed. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Okay, so you still have to t do the talk with him outside. See, I don't... I think I maybe one time I've actually uh, not passed the speech check. Darla disturbing the shit. Yes. Yeah, I've always passed the speech check, so I always get Darla to, to leave and, and leave peacefully. Um... I'm I'm not surprised that you still have to leave to talk to him to finish this. That you can't just do it there. Come on, Nick, do your thing. There you go. All right, we're gonna drop a seat here. So once we finish the conversation and end unlikely Valentine, that should give us the debug message and the and the uh, the notification about the decoration being enabled. Fingers crossed. The game loads. Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. Yep, never nothing thought anything like anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Ellie. Ellie sent me. Your secretary, Ellie. She did. I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something. I want you to come to my Um, I'll I'll meet you there sometime, maybe. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Yay! Okay, there's the debug message. Unlikely Valentine is done. And we should get the notification, hopefully. Yes, please. There it is. More decorative items of an added deer hideout. Yay. Yay. Ex Noobsta. How you doing? How you doing, Ex Noobsta? Give that woman a raise for sure. All right. All right. So I think I'm not going to bother leveling up because this is for science and it does not matter. Uh, let's go take care of Daisy's quest. Go turn this in, and then we'll go back to the hideout. We should have the, uh, uh, the Nick Valentine Detective Agency sign enabled, and once we turn this into Daisy, we should have the, uh, the overdue books. So let's just, um, do the look over there. There's Elvis. So I don't think you actually have to clear out the... Well, yeah, you kind of do. I'm, I'm trying to think. The way that the... If you look at these quests, the way that they're set up, you kind of get the impression that there's multiple ways to, uh, to do this. Oh, we were talking about this earlier today on Uncle Lander's stream. You, uh... Whoops. Go up. You're never going to get up here. Hey, Vicky, how you doing? Good to see you. If you ever find your way up to the roof up here, uh, to the library, uh, there's actually a Brotherhood of Steel Paladin dead on the roof. There's no doors here. There's no way to get access to the roof. But there's this, uh, this platform here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's a thing. Jetpack. Yep. Uh, or 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 he he fell off. He fell out of a verderberder. 
but he's actually there before the Brotherhood even shows up. So, um, Ginger says, I always had the mod that restores a terminal library adds more, meaning why there are some dead people there. There is a mod that restores that, because I was going to show that to you guys too, or that, that terminal, because we were talking about that on uh, Wander's stream today. I didn't realize there was a mod that does that for um, Curator Gibbons, who is likely going to be um, with no underwears. You'd need a jetpack to get up there. Ah. No way I can pick oh, this. Oh, let's do, uh... Welcome to the Boston Public Library. The library? Mm hmm Um... I work here. I work here. Let me in. Please provide your six-digit employee ID number. Yeah, the terminal's uh, pushed outside the, the wall of the back room. Yes, right. We'll go see My if we can find ID it. number is, um... One, two, three, four, five, six. I love this. <laughs> How's it going, Vicky? Long time no see. Eric! How you doing, Eric? You're back. Yay, you're back! Same as on your luggage. <laughs> Now, if I had Heather Caston with me, spawning in here with three companions would put me right in the middle of that um, grenade trap. I don't know if it, what it does with just the two. Oh, thanks, Ginger. I'm actually going to put that in my their browser here. Take a look at that later. Yeah, the compressed data thing. Yep. All right, let's do Daisy's book. Turn over your books. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have enough to get the magazine, but it's another magazine that we can... I don't have enough to... So that's fine. Alright, so let's go back and see what uh, we were talking about here. Well, they'll trigger the alarm. The, the um, Let's come back here. We'll trigger the security alert. Yeah, uh, you guys that notice that Curator Gibbons has no, uh, never has any clothes? That's how he set up in the creation kit. Attention. I thought it was one of the mods Security's I had. No, he actually has, entrance. has no clothes. Visitors clothing. and employees are advised to seek cover Intruder. Magically, all your problems go away. Situation oh. identify Normal. yourself and huh? order. In Diamond City, we're fancy. Did that not work? Order there we go. has prevailed. He's free spirit for sure. Now I will take the bobblehead, and that way I can uh, actually test one of the bobbleheads. So let's make a save here. So if we identified intruder detected. Oh, we have more. The other wave spawned. Okay, so we should be behind the wall here. I don't know if I looked at this before or not. On a stream. Attention. Yep, there it is. Right there. That's the missing terminal. Right there. That's the terminal in that uh, mod that Ginger Ninja just posted. Oh, I still have... There we go. We have more. A noise. Combat zone. You may suffer harm up to and including death if you remain in the area. This notice required by law. Is that it? Did we clear it? Uh, that terminal was part of a cut quest. There was uh, that Curator Givens. I believe the cut quest had something to do with... Oh, it's right in... Let me look here. Uh, com compressed data. You had to... Um, uh, actually, let's let's take a look at that. Give me a second here. Let's... Um, Please stand. Wait. 
while we're doing this. Let's take a quick look at that. Let's look at it together. There's um an a cut quest that basically you would get to, you bring I want to say you bring books back. Um yes, hang on a second. Um Yes, Huffman, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. Let's take a look at this together real quick. Does this work? Yes, we have sound and everything. So this is the link that Jinja Ninja just uh, posted. The Boston Public Library compressed data cut content. Vanilla game you may happen across Courier Given's terminal in the library, which he asks you, whoever finds to protect the data he and Steve had pres been preserving by compressing it on the BPL mainframe. Trouble is, you can't. Um... Keen observers know the actual mainframe is out of the bounds, so you can't get to it. It's what we just saw. Mod recreates the mainframe inside the room as Curator Corpse, uh, Givens' as corpse, and allows you to complete his work. So essentially, you had to restore some data to this, to this mainframe. So, yeah. So it's, it, it's caught content. It's just unfortunate. And it was, at some point, an, a separate quest that, um... Because I was looking at the actual this quest that we're on right now, I've looked at that in the in the kit before, and there's stages from that cut quest that intersect with the book return quest, and it's it's a little fuzzy to me. But Daisy's quest seems like it was a lot different than it is now, and it was more tied into this this Gibbons quest. Um, let's see. Mac and cheese, beautiful. And is this, oh, I gotta turn that off. There we go. Uh, still eating the terminal they buried in the wall. Yeah, I, I think maybe, maybe they, hang on a second. It's possible that um, it's easier just to put that out and forget about it. Maybe they decide, well, in case we ever decide to do anything with it, it's easier to just move it than add it back in. Who knows, who can say? All right. Return Assistants the daisy. May now come and go Who can please. say? All employees, please return to work. All right. So we're done with that. Drop another save here. All right. Let's turn this in the daisy. Then we'll head back to the house and check on our uh, our new decorations. Actually, I might take a little break after after we do that. I've been going for two hours now. Holy Christmas. Yeah, I'm going to need to take a break. Also, the fastest way to play through the game. Yes. I, I definitely don't normally do this. But in order to properly complete the quest, you kind of got to... You got to do the thing. You got everybody? Okay. Right, so we're just going to... Go back to the good neighbors... And toggling all the map markers on was a big help, too. When modding, it's always the best practice to disable rather than delete, just in case it breaks something else. Exactly. Yep. Good neighbor, huh? You looking to get stoned or stoned? Oh, they're doing the, the discussion. We can't talk to Daisy yet. Hey, Daisy. Glad you can make it. How's my favorite? Maybe by the time we go jump into the memory den and come back out, maybe Hancock will be done talking. Uh, actually, this is sometimes I wish I didn't have to wear pants at work. It be a bit it would be too breezy. Well, you know, there's always Casual Friday to look forward to. Always Casual Friday. Uh, trying to load deleted references usually doesn't end well. No, and I'm 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 shocked at the amount of mods that have deleted references in them. Ooh, vault suit, huh? Hell yeah! Daisy, hey Daisy, you're back. How'd it go at the library? Get rid of those super mutants. Uh, library computers said I earned some kind of. Oh uh, no, um, mum, mum, mum. Yep, managed to fight them off, and I dropped off the book. I managed to fight my way. <laughs> oh, I know it was an odd request. Here's your money. Okay. All right, book return. Public knowledge is done. Notification, please. 
Yay! Decorative items have been added to the hideout. Yes. Uh, it gives me um, overdue books put on the shelf. So the house is actually located up here. Kingsport Lighthouse in Longlet Nuklowski. So it's basically right here. We'll go to the outside first. This icon will direct bring you directly inside the house. But let's lose the out uh, the exterior entrance because I don't I don't remember if I've actually tried that yet. I must have. But we'll try that. We'll go in the front door. The other one teleports you directly inside because some people like like that. They don't like going through the extra load door. Loading screen, whatever you want to call it. And it's in this nondescript Falowski shelter, just like the original Fallout 3 mod. Going to comment out or de de debug messages or remove them? I'm probably going to remove them because I, the way I have the, the, the quest itself commented, so I know which quest it refers to. So I'll probably just remove them. I don't see a need to leave them in. And me being me, there there might be a, a time where I, I go to edit something and um, if it's there, accidentally remove the uh, semicolon and then, then it's live. So I'll just remove them. Here we are. I guess they're not interested in sharing, huh? It's literally just there for me to test this, so there's no need to leave them in. Hey, Coconut, how you doing? I've tried to get better about commenting what things do in a script, especially a script this big with so many references and quests and whatnot. So. And we got our detective sign. How's it going, Coconut? So there's our Nick Valentine detective agency sign and the overdue books. Those uh, those are there, so that works. Seems like the kind of place you could kick back, right? Yeah, sure thing, Pipper. Um, all right, so the other thing in my log here is Tradecraft. I think maybe we could... I'll, I'm going to take a quick break. And I'm taking a look at my list of side quests that I have to do, see if there's anything else we can quickly run through, and then maybe go do side, uh, do tradecraft. But I do have another side quest or two. So, Defcon, hello, how you doing? Good to see ya. Um, Coconut says, doing good, started a new playthrough, Fallout 3 with TTW. Cool. Cool. That sounds like fun. I, I've been kind of, kind of itching to get back to Fallout 3, actually, myself. <laughs> I miss it. Um, not even done with New Vegas, and I want to get back to three. How about that? So, I'm going to take a quick break, and, um, go grab a fresh glass of water. Take a look at my list here of side quests. If I don't see anything that we can do quickly, we'll just go and do Tradecraft. Otherwise, maybe we'll do, uh, try and do, I'd like to do at least two more quests before I got to call it a night, so. Um, but so far, things seem to be working, so I'm going to make a save here. And I will see you guys back here in just a few minutes. All right, thank you very much for sticking around for that much needed break. Um, let's head upstairs. I did look at my list. I think what we could try doing is Confidence Man is on my list. I wanted to try that. And we should get uh, the radio microphone and Diamond City radio sign should show up there. So I figured we could go get that taken care of and plow through Tradecraft and that would probably oh, look at this place that would probably do it for tonight but I want to show you guys upstairs too um, head up so yeah I guess I'm gonna have to squeeze in a couple another uh, maybe I can put another rack right about here yeah you know, I think I actually had one here for some reason I removed it I think another magazine rack could go there uh, Pikmin's quest I actually have Maybe we could do Pikmin's, too. That's Even though I've tested that one already, it wouldn't hurt to do it again. I have done through and done that already. So, anything else to do in here? No, I think we're good. Let's head back upstairs. I say upstairs, it technically it's, it's not upstairs, but... Uh, I wanted to show you guys, I, for those of you that have been here before... I have all the other quotes. Oh, where's my light switch? The Giddy Up Bitter Cup is complete. Hey, Ollie, how you doing? Uh, the house is going to be... We're right here. 
It's literally right down the road from Kingsport Lighthouse and Long Neck Lukowski's. It's pretty much right here. So Salem is up this way. And uh, the reason I chose Kingsport Lighthouse, I don't have anything other than Coastal Cottage. I don't have anything over here. But for my next playthrough, I'm going to be using the Red Wave um, quite a bit, I think. And that docks here. And the APC transport that I use goes right there. And if you use Vertibird Fast Travel, it uh, there's plenty of places around here to land, too. Um, so, oh, Giddy Up Bitter Cup. The Giddy Up Bitter Cup... For those of you that don't know, is the most important feature of this mod. It's it's a it's a buttercup, but we're calling it bitter cup, in honor of bitter cup from Fallout 3, who is um, she's a goth girl in the Capital Wasteland who has some very unique unique dialogue, and when you activate the Giddy Up Bitter Cup, it will display a random bitter cup thought of the day, which is actually dialogue that she says in Fallout 3. Um, this one is, this is lame. I'm going to sit in my room and think about death. So I think I have 15 different quotes now. I think I had only four or five previously. So, the, uh, it's got 15 now. Hit it again. I watched someone die once. I'm an expert on death. I wish Mad Dog was here for these. He'll have to catch it in the VOD. Oh, hurry up. I have poetry need to write. Dark poetry. So, you kind of get the idea. That's a repeat. Uh, I mean, just like because I'm different doesn't mean I'm some sort of freak, you know? It's like, hello, this world sucks. And anybody that's played Fallout 3 knows, knows Bitter Cup's dialogue pretty well. When I'm gone, I'll be sure to haunt this place. <laughs> uh, I actually... Uh, this is kind of a, a running joke on the channel because um, my Fallout 3 playthrough that I finished a few months ago, I actually have a mod that turns Bitter Cup into a companion along with Sydney that you get in the uh, Stealing Independence quest. But yeah, I had Bitter Cup as a companion and several times we put Bitter Cup in power armor. Bitter Cup is extremely small, so the power armor shrinks on her. So she, for a while, she was um, in outcast power armor. Very, very small outcast power armor. Uh, what does it matter anyway? We're all going to be mutant chow eventually. There's one in particular I wanted to find. When I'm gone, I'm going to be sure to haunt this place. That's not it. One more. I just want to get it. You wastelanders in your dirty clothes and roughed up faces. You look like a serial killer. Nope. Oh, hey. I was just trying to think of a word that rhymes with gloom. Hmm. I'm waiting for her to say, here, this is for you. Which is, in the, the companion mod, every time you trade dialogue, or you trade inventory with her, that's what she says. Okay, it doesn't show up as much because there's so many more to choose from now. But anyway, oh, here it is, here, this is for you. And it adds a random item from a, from a level list in your inventory. Like, she gives you a present. So, every time you get here, this is for you. It will add, um... Well, she gave me a Nuka Sunrise. You get a random thing added to your inventory. So. Decided to try Moxie. The Soda Vim is based on is pretty good. I've heard different, um... Different views of Moxie. I actually would like to try it myself at some point. That's cool. You, you took the Moxie Challenge. Um, I don't think anything is different in here since before. Uh, the radio. I put a radio here. Real comfortable in a place like this. Uh, no, I don't do workshops. It's going to be all pre-built. Old school player home. I don't do the workshop stuff. And this is also a radio. So you can turn everything off from here. The original Fallout 3 mod had... Um, the radio on the little jukebox, so, of course, I had to do it, too. So, and you'll have workbenches in the bedroom. You'll have them downstairs. Um, this little thing opens that up, so you have a wall safe with some stuff in there. It closes, open. What is all this? It's stuff, and then you'll have... Now, this is all just like the Fallout 3 version of the mod. Uh... You'll have weapon display there. 
aquarium shutter? This is the right answer. Of course it is. The only answer. And then you got the uh, the aquarium here. Just like the Fallout 3 mod. Right? If you go to the Fallout 3 Nexus, look up the underground hideout. I think there's a picture of the bedroom that it pretty much looks just like this. Yep. Pretty much. Alright. So, enough of that. Enough of that nonsense. We got questing to do. Let's head back to Diamond City. Let's go see if we can get the um, Confidence Man quest to trigger. Because we've already been into the uh, dugout in one time. Maybe we'll get it to... Uh, maybe the game won't crash either. Nope. Here we go. Okay. Go into, uh... What time is it? Oh, God, I'm not, I don't even have, um... It's 2.50 a.m.? Holy Christmas. I don't even have my, uh... What was it? My Holotime mod installed. Yes? Yeah, I'm not gonna have the OP weapons, no. In fact, I don't use the OP weapons. <laughs> no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I didn't do uh, the Fall 3 version. Nope. That was Dan the Geek. Did that a long time ago. I have never made a mod for Fallout 3. Oh, here we go. Quiet, Yiffy. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. Um... Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's... This is what I tell you. Either we have on... Vadim! It's... Someone needs to... Get... I don't think... Are you serious? Did we not just... Vadim? Oh, right. That's this enough. This isn't funny. Vadim isn't serious. <laughs> he doesn't really want to kill Travis. Ah. Uh... I'm not stupid. We weren't trying to trick you or anything. <laughs> It's true. It's only, only your Travis. clown shoes. Travis is a good friend. Well, Travis, he, he mean, and so he's always, he does not believe. Uh, let's see. Something like that could be tough to change. That's just, well, that, exactly. get through this. This is what I'm telling you, him. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. I need to take care we of something. We can discuss plan here. Alright, you take care of that, Tipper. What's with you vault dwellers in those jumpsuits, huh? Hi I don't there. know. You can order drinks and food here or at the question? Oh, I love all Tell the force greeting. Are you worried about the possible infiltration of Diamond City's ruling elite by synths? Oh, that's right. He goes over I here. But I ain't buying your lousy newspaper. Oh. Okay. Uh, Let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Hmm. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. Only good friends hatch plans off of each other. <laughs> so, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more. Oh, more I think I need to, um. Details. Ever been in bar fight? Uh. I'm not some th real quick way to make a lot of enemies. Ugh. What if it was? I want to. See. I want you. I'm on board. Why not? So mm -hmm. I have. They confront then you and simple. I have everything. All right, six hmm. o'clock. We got away. Good behavior, aren't you? Oh, Pipper. Um, we chat later. Maybe, uh, maybe we can have this chat later. Oh yeah, sure. I'm just talking. Yeah, that's right. Always that's your... good behavior. Oh aren't come you? on, she's not gonna let me go, is she? Maybe, uh. Oh yeah, sure. I'm just talking. Always on good behavior. Oh, she's not aren't gonna. You? I don't have a choice. All roads lead to yes. All roads lead to yes. I cannot walk away. You always just the ones I sure. I appreciate it. I cannot course, say no. All roads lead to yes. It just oh, works. Pie. It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. All of this just works. Yes. Sounds like it must be. Huh. No kidding. Sure, it can be. Huh. Because I know the truth. Yeah, Fallout 4 dialogue. The illusion of choice. All roads lead to yes. Couldn't agree more. Exactly. Uh -huh. I've seen firsthand with the tr our dad. Yes, well, no, maybe sarcastic. He was going to leave my dad. Mm -hmm. tried talking to the mayor. The mayor yes, yes, maybe. Yes, 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 sarcastic. Exactly. 
Um, you say no. Right, but hey, her. it's just nice to talk. Yes, yeah, so let's head up. Thank you. I'm all willing to hear your dialogue, but not now. Now, I'm going to leave her outside. Because she has a minigun. And the last time I did this with companions that had weapons, the uh, the guy I was supposed to fight got killed because uh, my companions shot them to death. So I'm going to actually have Piper outside here. Okay. Um, hey, Pipper. you say the word. Stay here. Wait there. Okay, I'll be here then. Okay. You just have to reload the stream after breaks. Change the setting auto to 1080 and the stream stays clear. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I've i been pretty lucky the past several streams. I've been getting the transcoding like I normally do. So, you should have all those options again tonight. Um, oh, I gotta sit and wait. We'll leave dog meat here for now. And I gotta make sure that I don't have, um... I don't have a gun on me. I don't want to kill anybody. There. What time is it? 4.28 a.m.? What? Don't you people have homes? Why are you here? Why are you here? Go home. Let's see. I probably need another hour. And I don't have my time scale set to 8 either like I normally do. It's vanilla time scale, so... You read the paper. Damn sense. We'll just we'll just chill here for a minute. I'm Good fine. To see returning customers. <laughs> Most time. We'll, uh, you let get up know. on my melee here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just chill for a minute. Um, yeah, I left. I, I normally play with the time scale set to eight. My actual playthroughs. This is the vanilla of twenty. But when I play for reals, I always set it to 8. Yeah, we're almost there. But we'll just chill for a minute. We got time. We got... Oh, we'll let Dogmeat, Dogemeat do his thing. He just did the dog... The uh, Sorry, the teddy bear animation. Yeah, the last two times I've done this with companions in here, it's gotten a little out of hand, so... We'll leave Piper with her minigun outside. They should be scrolling through here anytime. Yep. And also, normally, I probably would uh, travel around the uh, the game a bit with Travis before he finishes quest, keep him along as a temporary companion, like I've done with Billy before. Oh, here they come. But we're just going to do the thing. Hey, Jacko. Yeah, I've played with 8 Force Jesus for years. I would not put it anything uh, lower than 6. I know people play with 6. If you get it too low, then that causes problems with quests and whatnot. But 8, 8 is perfect for me. Can you just leave me alone? Maybe hey I don't like your little oh, radio program. You. What you have Everything to okay? say Everything about okay? Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Uh -huh. I don't. I, uh -huh. I just wish they'd go away. I just wish they'd go away. Let's do something about this then. No, no, I... With these men... Nothing will change unless you make it happen. It's not that bad. Don't worry. Well... If you think it would work, okay, that's, well, 
That's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said, I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. <clears throat> oh, I just, um, I missed a notification when I was on break. Ragnar, 545, thanks for the follow. Just saw that there. I must have missed it when I was on break. Let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. I mean it. Leave me alone. Sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll, I'll beat you up. Big mistake, <laughs> Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Get him, Travis. Get him, Travi. Go get Travi, go. Look at little Travi. Brinks! The finest liquor moonshiners can brew. What? Who, who, who shot? Who shot? Somebody. Somebody shot. There was a gunfire. I did. I did not hit her. <laughs> I didn't. Travis, this is such a bad idea. Who, who brought the gun? Why am I doing this? Oh, why is this not Whoa. working? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Where did the gunfire come from? <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of full proof plan? Uh, not more fighting? It's not more. No, no. You have mm -hmm. now. If someone who was not her employer, Rock'em Sock'em Travis. I, 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 I think I knocked his block off. I could have a chance. <laughs> yes, just do, and you and. Okay, that's fine. Now we gotta go. All right, let's save here. Because normally, when I leave Get dugout lost. in or any other place in Diamond City, we have a, a little bit of a chance to to crash. But since this is really not modded, uh, Pipper, let's go. Hey, hmm? come on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Maybe constantly trying to kill us. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Right. Hey, you won the paper. I right? still have God mode on, right? No, I don't. I did, oh, well, but I. Uh, huh. I didn't. Um, I didn't relaunch the game during the break like I normally do. That's right too. Never mind. Never have learned to never have a companion with the foolproof plan. Exactly. That's why I left. I left her outside because uh, we did this on the railroad playthrough, and I forgot about that. And I, th I actually think it was Heather Kasdan that uh, killed what's his name Bull, turned him to goo. Miss, I'm on a break right now. Uh, that's pretty much all she says after this. I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you some, Travis? Did he? I hmm. heard about the fight. Travis was. Uh, yeah. Pay him a visit. Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. Like you think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe. No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Uh, uh, you should go. He's a nice guy. Look, Travis. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I have the, mod, the the console modded, Ollie. So normally you do not get all this information. I got um, one mod called um, Console Name Fix that when you select an item, you select an reference, it it tells you what it is rather than just um, just the ID number. The older games would tell you what it was. Fallout Force console doesn't, so you could be clicking on a, a bit of dust or something and you don't know what you're clicking on. This actually tells you, so it'll show me dog meat. It'll show me Scarlet. And this other, this is a other mod, um, better console, I think it's called. It not only tells you the name, it tells you the base ID and what plugin it's from. So if you had something from a mod, it would tell you what mod it was from. So it's... Normally, it doesn't have all that information. The wall, our protector and our savior. It's actually kind of regress since three in New Vegas because when you click on something, you don't get the name. It's just the ID number, 
and you have no idea what it is you're clicking on. Shop in safety. No sins allowed at the surplus. Need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scopes. Got too Mix much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. Tom kidnapped. Mother brain's dangerous. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. Don't bother, pal. See, Piper's not the only one that has issues with chairs. Look at this guy. It's not just Piper that has... Oh. <laughs> oh my. This is, this is definitely worthy of a screenshot right here. Oh my. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Just stop. Okay. All of this we just all... works. Yes. Yes. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. That's amazing. That is amazing. Top quality entertainment, everybody. Who needs mods? This this is essentially an unmodded game. Who needs mods? This is terrible. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Uh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I am talking about th those men. He, he wouldn't. You have to do something. Uh, let's see. I'll bring him back. I'll bring him back, Iffy. Please, just bring him back. Talk to Trav. Okay. You Doc marvelous bone Brock. structure. Marvelous bone Doc structure. Surgery something. It always worked, it just works, always will work. Or if you use the Desdemona logic, it will work because it must. That's literally what she says in one of the rare requests. It will work because it must. Oh, wow, you're tall. All right, well now we gotta go talk to Travi. Hey there, what's going on? Uh, let's see, uh, receive a deem, he was grabbed at the dugout, your fiend thought you might know where Bull took him. Now we'll just go with this one. I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped. That's not funny. Not a joke, I'm serious. You think this is a joke? Ha <laughs> ha Oh, oh man. Uh-huh. Uh, absolutely your fault. It's between Vadim and those men. No, Travis. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight... Don't do that to yourself. All we can do now is figure out how to make this right. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... If Vadim is missing... Mm -hmm. uh, I'd welcome the help. Let's, let's get this over with. All right. I'd welcome that. Good. I've heard enough. Uh -huh. And then we can bring Vadim back? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. All right. I'm on a break right now. <laughs> Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. Uh, I, I, I think that I think we have a new song clip for the channel. I think we have a new song clip. Absolutely have a new song clip. I'm on a break right now. Yep. Pippa. That's it. That's all that's all Scarlet says for the entire rest of the game. Fast over, fast travel to Bean Town. Playing on a loop while I'm on break. Yeah, and then I'll start losing followers and subs. That'll be that'll be wonderful idea. All right, that'll be wonderful. Oh, we have friends. Well, not for long. Who's this? Is this? Settler. Uh. Hey there. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run <laughs> by robots. You 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 were just under attack from a bunch of raiders, and that's the first thing that came out of your mouth. That's the first thought. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Grey Garden run by robots? I don't believe it. 
<clears throat> oh, thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Oh, you betcha. I have the, the, the power of the console. Definitely. We'll be fine. Okay. That's a good ad. Any, uh... Uh, don't go crazy. Just stay calm. Don't go crazy. Right. Calm. I can do calm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'd like to inform you, you should check out Grey Garden. The whole place is run by robots. I'm not even joking. Oh my. That was hilarious. Hey, who needs mods? The vanilla game gives you enough. So much entertainment. So much humor. The mods are just the spice to enhance that vanilla flavor. I have... Ah, that's what we want. End of the line! You forgot, you, you forgot to say Boogeyman. End of the line, Boogeyman. Is there one down this way? Oh, do you smell that? They're not even, uh... Huh? This is gonna be fun! Yeah, it is. There we go. Alright. Uh, oh boy, picket fences. What shall I do without it? <clears throat> Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so we weren't going to leave you to these guys. You're welcome, guys. Vadim. We weren't going to leave you to these guys. You are good. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, now we got to uh, talk to Travis. Travis. I didn't find anything. I anymore. am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Okay, talk to Travis. Hey there. Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I Hell wanted to say thanks. To get people sauce. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. Uh, let's see. It's all just another day. This is all just another day. Yeah, I'm sure. Not me, though. But you still came out on top. You should be real proud. After all this, I think about... The things that, like, that's nothing compared to... Uh -huh. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Yay! Vadim is safe, Travis is confident. I got the, the debug message. Hey, it worked. I get the notification. Get more decorative items have been added to your hideout. Yay! And I leveled up. Again. All right, cool. Let's go back home. No, save. New save. There we go. No, Vicky, I, I, I like, I like, um, I like the old Travis more myself. Confident Travis is just, uh, no. No, I'm right there with you. I think a lot of people that um, hang out in the channel here, too, do. A lot of people that hang out here on, on the channel like old old Travis, not new Travis. Hmm. All right, so that eh, doesn't matter. Didn't save, it didn't save. I'm not too worried about it. Um, all right, let's head home. Let's head home. And we'll use the uh, direct route this time. Yeah, that's exactly what Grimner just said. Is is old self was entertaining. I think the uh, the um, unconfident Travis is much more entertaining. The 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 new and improved Travis just seems a little smarmy to me. That's just me though. I I much prefer the old Travis. I like that quest. I like dragging him around as a companion, a temporary companion. That's that's a lot of fun. 
Hey, we got our uh, we got our you ever wonder... our microphone Jeez. and our Diamond City radio sign. Cool. All right. All right. I think what we'll do now we'll make another save here. And let's go do trade craft. Let's take care of the railroad quest, so then we should get the railroad flag shows up over here. Now I've already tested the um, the institute institutionalized that you have to go and talk to father, and then you have to go meet the department heads. So, but maybe maybe I'll um, do that with cons because I actually coc'd into the institute and ran through that. Funny thing. If you COC into the Institute from the main menu, you, you do the uh, the level one character thing. Who is, you don't you don't have any inventory. You've never done anything. All the dialogue is still like you've killed the courser, that you've been around and done things, and it's it's pretty hilarious that you still talk about killing a courser when you uh, literally have done not a damn thing. I wish there was a way to do the quest and keep DCR the same. I was I was just thinking that, Speed Geezer. Yep, I was just thinking that. That uh, Travis doesn't come out of it, you know, with uh, all the confidence. So. Um, Alright, let's go do Tradecraft, which we have to go meet Decon. Where can we go over here that's close? We'll go to Drumlin Diner. Although we'll have to do the... Uh, which is fine. I haven't been the drum. Have I been the drumlin diner? I don't think I have. We'll have to do the Wolfgang thing. Whoa, whoa, easy there, Vault Girl. This doesn't involve you. Uh, Looks like you got some trouble. Help. Who's Trudy? See that diner right in front? She's converted. And when? Jet? What's Jet? Oh, I. What's stuff? Jet? <laughs> Gives you a high like you wouldn't believe. I guess Patrick. Mm -hmm. Now I've sold. Uh, Scumbag, you made him an addict. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. Look, now you gonna help us out? I'll talk to her. I appreciate it. I'm the muscle, babe. Just okay. don't piss me off. Yeah, well, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. And we're done. <coughs> and that's that. <coughs> and I can talk to Trudy. Hey, I saw you in that poison cellar talking. I want to help get rid of Wolf. Mm -hmm. Already dead. All right, thank you. I'll back you up from here. Bad Go touch. Get him. <laughs> I'll kill all oh, you. Oh, look at that! They're resurrected. How about that? They, they resurrected themselves. So you can't you. That's amazing. The power of Todd brought them back from oblivion. How about that? <laughs> Pipper with the minigun. The power of Todd resurrected them. That's amazing. Hi. <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this. Not right now. Okay. I thought I killed them. All right. I wasn't paying attention. Well, that was fun anyway. All right, let's go down and find Decon. I wasn't... They were mostly... I wasn't paying attention. I just saw them collapse, and and that was that. All right. Whatevs. They're dead now. Hey, Renaya, how you doing? The power of Todd compels you. Right, we'll kind of just plow through uh, Tradecraft here, and then uh, that should be good. Yeah, doing pretty good. We are uh, doing a little testing here. I'm just kind of doing some science experiments tonight, testing out my uh, script for my mod that I've been working on. Good to see ya. Oh, Decon is up this way. Off they go. Where? Oh, am I missing him? There he is. That means we get to... Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? 
It's wasteland. We're getting to the, the whole thing walking up the. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. The overpass with him. Back oh boy. Off. Mm -hmm. Stop screwing with me. This is the railroad. Our old. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So what are we doing? The survivors didn't have time. Uh -huh. Let's find it then. We gotta do one thing. We gotta tour it. Uh -huh. For now, I'll take point. You do that. You so do I'm that, Decon. Real signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never got on. Anyway, oh, a lot of people don't like Decon. have a trail left for us. I, I don't like Decon right now when his pathing is terrible on this quest. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Nobody would going. ever figure out the rail sign stuff. Decon. <laughs> oh boy. I know Lo Uncle Ender, you love Deacon. You have a very special place in your heart for Deacon. My favorite companion? Eddie. Eddie is best companion. Got another rail sign. Right there. Yeah, for, for me, he gets... Deacon kind of will sometimes bug out the very last part Inside of this quest there's... when he's supposed to go over and unlock the terminal oh, by the, uh, the blast door. He sometimes gets stuck. Nobody would ever guess the password to the secret railroad hideout. No, not at all. It's like their uh, their password is their username. And another, probably close. Yep, Eddie from New Vegas, best companion. And he's stuck on the bus door. There he goes. Turn the light on here. What time we got anyway? Wow, I got eight level ups. Hmm. A g-g-ghoul. A groovy ghoulie. Yeah, I don't even have my Capital Wasteland um, Ghoul Replacer installed either. That's the first time the plus in, in the center? ages I've seen the vanilla ghouls. Ugh. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, Cheeky Scoob? Trust me. Hey. Mine is in the shop. Hey. Ricky Dalton. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat, huh? Oh, we gotta wait for him, huh? Yeah, the the uh, lovely Lexington frame rate drop. I saw it drop down like 40, 45 there. Hey. <clears throat> hey. Oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? Sorry, I'm... Uh -huh. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was... Tell me what... I signed on the front for... Sure. Good to know. Yeah. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting it. Uh -huh. Yep, okay. Don't you walk away from me. Hey there. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Um... I think he's hiding something. So, my guess is... Mm -hmm. Uh, let's, let's just... move out. Let's you go. You lead us there, pal. Yes, get to the escape tunnel that no one would ever, ever find. Ever. Since I'm in God mode, let's do this. Let's take the shortcut. Testing gravity or something? <laughs> and they just mysteriously transport down next to me. That'll make things a little quicker.
Shoot him! Shoot him now! The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype to... Oh, we gotta do the thing. Let's find a prototype, then. Together with you? I like our odds. First step is to override the security lockdown. Dalton, you son of a gun. Last time I saw you, you were chilling in my Adam Cad screen. Uh, Dan, uh, that's right, Dan. Didn't you say that he, he followed you there, right? One time? I've had him show up in some pretty weird places. This is like friggin', uh, what's his name? Malcolm in New Vegas. We'll hunt you down. Yeah, I think you sent me a screenshot of that, didn't you, Daniel? I'm gonna I, I seem to remember password. seeing that. No. 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 That's where that's where I saw the screenshot. Ah, missed one, you cocky bastard. Yeah, that was awesome. I remember Prototypes that. Prototypes deeper inside. Children, <laughs> damn cats. <laughs> Someone left a rail sign here. Uh, now there, the now there's a new faction I hadn't no. thought about. Hello. Okay, we're just gonna do that. That might actually kill all of them. Which is fun. Right, see, you weren't aggroed yet, so that didn't get you. Alright. We're entering a secret defense intelligence agency research lab. A place that never officially existed. It's called the switchboard. The switchboard. I can't hear you, Deacon. Deacon, I can't hear you. I can't hear you, Deacon. La 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 la. Yep, that was all of them. Yeah, I like. I think this is a really well done dungeon. I agree. I wish they. I wish more of them were like this. Yeah, we got them all already. All right, that's fine. Just for kicks, I will take this. Yes. Come I'm stuck. I'm stuck, Todd. Why be sneaky? And disable that when we can... Oh, it didn't... Wow. Okay. I think we got them all. Why, this is so much easier this way. Yeah, they're already all enabled and everything. Come on, Deacon. Where'd Pipper go? We lost Pipper. Where's that play button? Carrington, Stanley, Salas, and Grote, Supreme and Lex. Open says me. Where is everyone? There she is. So Tommy Whispers didn't make it out. He died protecting our secrets. Let me see. There. Tommy would want you to have his hand cannon. Don't let it size fool you. Hmm. Thanks. I appreciate it. May it serve you as well, heck, better than it did Tommy. Hey, she asked, where is Grab everyone? Yeah. Prototype. <laughs> it's Pipper. You turn that over to Desdemona. Right. Okay, we'll go grab this. There we go. There's an there elevator we go. at the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome domes on this okay. side of the minefield. And uh, we'll let Deacon take care of the mines that are there. Well, not those mines. The mine. I usually let Deacon handle the mines outside. Uh, there's one place where there. It's a. It's an unmarked location. It's a theater. It's um over near DB Technical High School. I can't remember the name of the cell offhand. It's an unmarked location. It's an old abandoned theater. There's. I think there's one synth in there. Oh wait a minute.
Captain underscore Squirrel just subscribed. Six months. Captain underscore Squirrel, thank you very much. I love how British lady says things. Cam Squirrel, thank you very much for that six month resub. How are you, sir? Uh, let me do a little thing here before I forget. How you doing, Captain Squirrel? Thank you very much for that resub, sir. I do appreciate that. There you go. There's a little shout out for, for you. Playing Fallout 4. What is that? What is this Fallout 4 of which you speak? <laughs> very tired. Yeah, I'm getting there too. I'm getting there myself. We're, uh, we're, we're doing some experimenting tonight. Doing some, uh, Science experiments, powering through quests on God mode to test out that um, that script I was telling you about. I've been testing out um, finishing quests and having decorations activated in the player home. You think you think think it invented God rays? Yeah, yeah. Todd rays, happy little Todd rays. So yeah, we've already done. Uh, I did the first Minuteman quest, and the, the flag got activated for that. We've done call to arms for the Brotherhood. We did the rescue Nick Valentine. We did public knowledge for Daisy. Uh, confidence man for Travis, and now I'm doing trade craft. Movement detected. Joey. And this is how we're dealing with enemies tonight. The KAH command. Boom. They just go, Warren Theater. Thank you, Lilac. Well, that's it. Oh, and because I'm in God mode, nothing happens. You all right there, Pipper? Oh, well, he'll dog, dog me. Huh. Didn't know those worked on dogs. Yes, they do. Um, where's... Did I talk to Deacon? Always remember. Meet Deacon at the Old North Church. You know, Heather hates Piper? Yes. Yes, they do not like each other at all. And the dialogue is actually pretty awesome. Yeah, they, uh... Heather does not like Piper. Definitely has an axe to grind with her. Alright, let's, uh... Come on, game. Let me do the thing. I can't select this. There we go. Yeah, that actually bothers... the. You know, because they get really catty. You can disable that. There's, um... I think you can build a terminal for Heather that you can disable that, but I love it. I would never, ever think of disabling that. Not at all. See, I've just been going around running, uh, powering through some quests just to make sure things are working, and it seems to be working, so... Uh, the final one for the night will, uh... Do tradecraft here. And I'm actually playing mostly on modded 2 Captain Squirrels. As, as vanilla as you'll ever see me play. Heather, yeah, Heather Kazan is is an awesome companion mod for Fallout 4. You can tell I'm getting tired. I don't remember which way I gotta go here. And the new what, what is this unmodded? I know, right? Shoulder and blasted her way what is this unmodded of, of which you speak? Synths everywhere. Uh -huh. Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and oh. wiped out a hundred oh, Piper. Gen 1s. <laughs> Piper's so faking it. True. Um. You don't believe Deacon? He's, he looks like such a trustworthy guy. Oh, Piper. Piper, you're just looking for attention now. Why don't you believe Deacon? Let's just say that Deacon and the truth aren't always on the same team. Oh, heavily unbalanced. All right. Enjoy that lurk, Captain Scroll. Thank you very much for that resub. It's good to see you. Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I, I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Look, Glory, to secure there. that boat. But instead, just... You'd be insane. You've certainly made... Uh -huh. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Yay. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're... So you're in. Sure. Oh, call me the professor. Because I'm really good with, you know, terminals. 
and terminal console command. Call me. You certainly demonstrate your first official. But first, it's time to. Hey, there we go. Trade quest quest done. My debug message. Second of items been added to the hideout. Never know when you're being watched. Beautiful. Coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. Hey, shoot. She's fine now. See? You're fine now, Pipper. All right. I'm getting tired of waiting. Tired of waiting. All right, so we're going to turn... We're not going to do Boston after dark. What we're going to do is we're going to save. And we're going to head back out. Oh, Heather is... Heather's an amazing companion mod. Um, she's built outside of the vanilla companion system, so she's not hampered by its limitations. And she doesn't take a companion slot. She has a lot of really awesome features that uh, the vanilla companions just don't have. Alright, so let's head back up to the hideout and check on our shiny new uh, railroad flag that should be there. Hopefully. I've never actually used any other Fallout 4 companion mods other than Heather. I might try testing out that Hell and the Cartographer just because I've never used it before. But I it's not gonna be it's not gonna be better than Heather. We'll go into the front door. We'll try that again. Yeah, there, there's a reason why both Heather and Willow are considered um, the best, um, among the best of the companion mods for their respective games, and that's because Llama RCA put a lot of really awesome features into the mods. The fact that they weren't built in the vanilla companion systems for either of those games, it, it, it speaks a lot to all the work and effort and and, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, replayability with them, I guess. Alright, we got everybody? That's one way to keep out uninvited guests. Let's head on down. Head on down. And we got a railroad flag. It just works. Yay. <laughs> Yay, it works. Um, all right, so every, we did one. Well, that one was already done. One, two, three, four, five quests. I know what we can do. Let's go do the alien. What time is it? 921? Make a save here. Let's do this. Let's, um, I think what I'd like to do, my character is only at level 9. I think I'm going to level her up to 20 with a console command to a set level. That should trigger the alien. We'll go check the alien. I want to test that again. Is there anything else I want to do in here first? I think not. I think we're good. Let's head back out. We'll go back out the load door, because why not? Don't expect anyone will bother us. Um, actually, let's do it this way first. Let me set the command. I'm gonna set gonna set um this one. There we go. I just leveled up to 20. Yay! Oh the bobblehead. That's a good idea. Well, actually, I which one did I get? Intelligence, because the um oh one of these is not right. See the bat command that I use. I put bobbleheads in my inventory, so one of these is not a true bobblehead. One of these is spawned in. I forgot about that. 
Um, we'll find out which one it is. It's that one. This is the fake one. Oh, actually, it doesn't... Okay. Yeah, that's, um... Okay. It works. Let's go back down and check that. Yeah, the, um... The bat file I used for testing that gives me the, the uh, armor and stuff, it spawns in some bobbleheads so I can test the stands, but they're not the same as actual bobbleheads. So when you come down here, there's a static reference that Everything equals secure. the bobblehead that you put upstairs. The good place to rest up. bobblehead display at the foot of the stairs in the hideout in the house is an actual functional bobblehead display. But there's a script attached to that that um, replicates whichever bobblehead you have here. You'll be able to show them down here. You can't interact with these. These are just static references. But for whatever bobblehead you have upstairs, you'll be able to get them down here. It's like a duplicate. Yep. Well, the bat file is... Um, oh, thanks, Ollie. Appreciate that. The bat file basically just puts in the reference... Or the, the base IDs. They're, they're static items. The actual, quote, real bobbleheads are quest aliases. And th the little pop-up message that you get, I think that's part of the quest. If I just... Now, let's go back out. I can demo it for you. It's easier to show you than to explain it. If you just spawn in spawn in um, bobbleheads to your inventory, you don't get the buffs. The buffs, I believe, are added by the class. Some, I never really looked at it that closely. But, I see I have the, the Charisma and Endurance bobblehead. At a level 1 character, you spawn those in. I don't believe that they... In fact, I know that they don't. You don't get the buff from them. So... But if I were to put, um... Let's put the agility bobblehead here. See, it's, um... Something's not right. Okay, there's that. Yeah, something is... Because I have a real one in here, I think that's the problem. I kind of may, I may have, um, let's try this here. You don't want to just be spawning bobbleheads in like this. That's not something you generally want to do. Modded myself into a corner, Vic? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do any other mod. You'll never see me do another mod like this. I'm just going to put the fake ones in here. I think because one of these is, um, quote, fake and one's real. But there's an issue with that. But yeah, so you've got those there. Yeah, you don't want to be spawning in bobbleheads with a console command because they're 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 not the same. But see there's uh there they are there. They're um oh what's the word I'm looking for? They're um they're like in um point lookout. The Schmaltech bubbleheads. They're not real bobbleheads. They're bubbleheads. But yeah, so. But the real ones will actually work just fine. Because if I go to take these, you don't get the pop up message. And they're. They're technically still there. You still get that featured item, but. Uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to be spawning those in. Here. All right, so I'm up level 20 now. I have 32 level up, so boy. Yeah, I must have perk points per level set to give me three levels for some reason. I don't quite remember why I did that, but it doesn't matter. All right, so let's let's do this. Let's head outside. I want to get the UFO to trigger. Then we'll go say hello to our alien friend. Oh, the rock walls, that's another... um. We get the, uh, all the DLC opening up now. The, um, the cave walls inside the house are a throwback to the Fallout 3 mod, because that's exactly how that's set up. Don't want 
naked shelves in the 500 player homes? Oh my. Well, th there might be a mod that adds extras. I don't know. We wait to learn a little bit. Now that we got all those other quests showing up. Chill for a minute. We might get the, uh, the UFO. There it goes. There we go. So that, the only quest associated with the UFO crash triggers that and triggers a companion to say that. There's no actual quest to get the alien. Oh, God. We need to see if anyone was hurt, right? Absolutely, Piffer. We need to go see if anyone was hurt and may have some alien technology that we just have to get our hands on. Okay. Be over this way. And the way that this thing is set, once that quest triggers, all these things here, the debris, the uh, the crash site itself, the alien in the cave, is all there's an enable marker out here. And all the quest does was, um, once you hit level 20, it triggers the encounter. And all this stuff gets enabled here, including the alien and all the blood pools, the trail that you're supposed to follow. That all gets enabled. And cave should be over this way. Yep. So that's why I had to make him an actual quest alias, so that uh, the mod knew that um, he was dead, or will be here shortly. What's that? Yep, alien has been killed, UFO model enabled. Four decker of items have been added to the hideout, so we go back. For the and that's the first time in ages I haven't used the Fall 3 Alien Blaster Replacer. Ugh. Only see it go over once in, uh, in your playthroughs. It happens really fast. It's usually right after you, um, within a couple minutes of you leveling up to 20. Alright. Not saying it's an alien, but it's an alien. Exactly. Alright, so we'll, uh, we'll go in through the, uh, the fast travel point this time. So we should have the UFO model up there now. Oh, the Fallout 4 Alien Blaster is horrendous. There's a replacer that, um, because the actual That's one way to keep out the Fallout 3 guess. version is kind of in the game. The Nuke World Alien uh, animatronics actually have the Fallout 3 version. There's a mod that uses Actually, there's two mods. There's one that uses that mesh from the Nuka World DLC and adds it to the game. But there's also another one that I use. I've used for a while. It's it's all new, um, all new assets. So it replaces that fugly thing with an actual alien blaster. Yeah. So we got a UFO now. It's so quiet. So that works. It just works. And so we have our our happy little um short one. Can I put this here? There we go. Yep. Yeah, I love the Fault 3 Alien Blaster. Yay, UFO! Yeah, my actual playthroughs, I use the uh, the Fault 3 Replacer to get rid of this horrendous thing. Because it's awful. But I think... I think my science experiment was a success. Every quest we did, uh, everything kind of worked. Yeah, the, uh, I don't have it here. I actually use those assets for some clutter. Um, in my player homes, there's a display that I have it on like a little display box hanging on a wall in some of my mods, but, um, yeah, the a animatronic aliens in Nuka World actually use of, of, it looks like the Fallout 3 one. It's not exact, but it's pretty damn close. And to the Fallout 3 one, but there's another mod author, I can't remember the name offhand. I, it's a, it's a straight up mesh replacer. And it just replaces that with the Fallout 3 one, so. Um, oh, thanks, Vic. Appreciate that. So, yeah, I got a lot more testing to do. I'm actually, let's, um, I'm gonna make a save here. I'm gonna get ready to wrap up here, because it's a work night, and I gotta, I gotta go to work in the morning. So, um, take another quick tour here. So, showed you guys that. Showed you the, uh, army. You notice how when we came back, the door was locked and closed? Oh, thank you, Vicky. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for the biddies. Thanks, Deckert. Um, 
there's a trigger right here that when you enter it, it locks that door, closes that door down in, in the armory. Because that's how the Fallout 3 mod works. Every time you leave the armory, it closes and locks the door. Why would you leave your armory unlocked? Um, so we've got... Uh, I'll show you guys the Grand Tour for those of you who haven't seen it. This is just another little eye candy room. It's like a security room. Another uh, chair for Pipper to go and test out. Because that's what she does. And we've seen the bedroom. Oh, the um, the old skill books. The Fallout 3 version has an active shelf you can store your skill books on. But since we don't have those, I'm doing repros. And on Sunday, I did the Lion Congressional style. That's the next one I got done. And um, so I've got eight more to do. I've only got eight more to do. This is the main bathroom. This is pretty much done. I'm going to uh, read work on the uh, the textures for the sinks and the toilets because I'm not too happy with them. They need a little bit of work. But um, so the skill books will be there. I'll have all all the skill books on display, and shows you guys the bedroom, uh, the water purifier. That I demoed that before. The sorting system here for the chems. So that uh, takes all that stuff out of my inventory. Girl can get real comfortable in a place like this. Uh, oh, the commissary system. Oh, uh, the skill book displays are just just um, that's just static. But the Fallout Three mod, you can actually store your skill books on them, and they they will appear there. But these are just going to be static because we don't have skill books. Um, so commissary system. Uh, if you're familiar with the Lonesome Road DLC from New Vegas, this works pretty much the same way. It's just a little terminal you can buy and trade. Um, this will stock purified water. If you have any in the storage container here. I don't know if I have or not. Do I have any purified water? Do I have any dirty water? Let's, um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Sort my waters. Okay. Oh, I do. Alright, um, let's do this then. Uh, purify all my dirty water. You gotta have it in the, uh, in the container there. Oh, yeah, the, I'm sorry, Kelly, the, uh, the speakeasy, yeah, the books you don't eat, you can put on display. And when you put one in, it's basically a container, when you put, um, a, a skill book in the container, the, um, corresponding book will show up on the display. Um, but yeah, yeah, you don't eat books. Yeah, I do eat the books. Have you eaten any good books lately? So, that's that. So now we have all those purified waters there. And when you come back over to this button here, stock the water shelves. Bam. That activates. So if I want one, take it off the shelf. And if I have any more... This works exactly the same way that the ammo down there or the ammo sorting thing works. Or I'm sorry, the ammo stock button. Stock the shells. And it restocks. It will draw the water from your storage over here. So essentially, you put the dirty water in there. You hit the thing. And it activates. Did I do... Yes. 24 hours. You can only purify water once every any, every 24 hours. And then it goes into... um. Then it goes into a recharge mode. So... Um, so yeah, that, that's that, and, oh, this is going to be called the Underground Hideout. It's a recreation of a player home mod from Fallout 3 that I've used for ages, so, um, oh, thanks, J. Rickman, appreciate that. Uh, so this, this is the healing pool here, I, since I'm in God mode, I can't show you, um, if I was injured, if I, um, came down here, this would restore my health. But since I'm at full health, it, it does nothing. Oh, I'm over in Cucumbered. How about that? Put the God Mode. Oh, doge me. I went out of God Mode, and now I'm over in Cucumbered, I think. Yep, I'm way over in Cumbered. Because I, um, it kind of spawned in too much stuff. Why don't you take that? That's good. 
There we go. Hey, Piper's found one of the Geidel markers. Nice. The go-to player houses. Ah. Uh, oh, the um. Yeah, I don't have. No, I didn't have the alien blaster, but yeah. Oh, I we were down here already because I showed you guys the giddy up bitter cup. The kitchen. Make sure you the kitchen. So there's the light for the kitchen. I, I'm using some of the wonderful assets that have been made available. Uh, this is rice cakes. Came up with the old school Nuka Cola neon light as a modder's resource, so I'm using that. And those of you that know Monkey Spunk, who does the wonderful uh, stained glass lighting for the workshops, uh, the mod author of Diamond City Story, The Bleachers, which we've done on the channel here before the quest mod, is allowing me to use some of his uh, his assets. So I've got this wonderful little stained, light, stained glass lamp here. Turn that on. Look at that. Look at that beautiful stained glass pattern on the wall. Courtesy of Monkey Spot. So that's going to be in a little breakfast nook there. And food sorting. This works the same way. Um, probably don't have any here. Do I have any food on me? Sort all food. Yep, food storage. Now, just like the Fallout 3 mod, it breaks it down into junk food. Which is basically all the pre-war stuff and other food. Sort all my drinks. Store drinks and liquor. Aha! So, yep, you, you, you store the food, and then you come over back to the button, it will stock the shelves. It works exactly the same way as the ammo and the purified water, so if I take an Instamash, I get an Instamash in my inventory. And then you can just come back up and restock it. And it restocked it. I feel like I need to take my shoes off in here. Yeah, see? E Piper knows. Uh, you got the cooking station over here. Handy, aren't you? So, there's that. This is uh, linked. This is the linked. Oh, we didn't um, get those out of there. All the workbenches are linked to shared storage. So if we come back up to the, um, there's there's two trash incinerators. There's one up here. So after you're done exploring, you come home. You can. Put your stuff in the sorting container here. I demoed this before. It sorts the stuff into the proper containers. But you can also go to the trash incinerator. There's one here by the door. There's one down in the power armor bay. So if I were to come in here, drop this stuff in. And, uh... All right, Ollie. Hey, thanks for coming and hanging out with us, man. It's good to see you again. Welcome come back anytime. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back streaming Friday, so hopefully you can make it then. We'll be doing New Vegas on Friday, but thanks for coming and hanging out with us, Ollie. It's good to see you. You have a good night. Thanks for being here. Uh, so after you put your stuff in, get out of the transfer menu, you get a little pop-up notification. Uh, basically, um, you know, telling you this can't be undone. Do you want to continue? I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I better check and see what I have. So you can go back in here. Oh, maybe this... This battery clipboard is very special. I don't want to scrap that. So, And then you get the option. Yes, incinerate the trash. And you can't... Uh, maybe you can kind of see the flames coming out there. Incineration is complete. Trash is gone. There's nothing there. And then when you come back down to... Uh, we'll go to one of the workbenches. We'll go to the chem station. There's a chem station over here. You can check that. And that's all the components from that junk. Gets gets put in the in, into the uh, the shared workbench storage, so you can use that for your crafting. And this is uh, an actual chem bench. There's uh, there's a surgery chair here. You can do a facial surgery. There's a barber chair in the main bathroom. Uh, the ever popular my first infirmary, just like the Fallout Three version. Heal yourself, remove rads, and I've added another option here for survival mode. It will cure your diseases, because I figured out how to do that. After uh, discovering it was like super, super simple to do. So, if you're in survival mode, you can cure your diseases there. Uh, the My First Laboratory, just like the Fallout 3 one, you can craft a random chem, or if you're addicted to something, you can take care of that. 
And uh, the Mole Rat Wonder Meat Maker. You remember Mole Rat Wonder Meat from Fallout 3? One Mole Rat Meat, two adhesive. It gives you a bit of a health boost. And a little bit of rads, but more of a... Um, bit more uh, of a health boost than um, normal red normal mole rat meat and the fall three mod had it so of course I gotta have it too and uh, yep wonder meat and that's it I recreated this this fall four doesn't have one of these the fall three mod has one so I gotta have it and that's kind of the that's kind of it for now Piper's gonna gonna hold up the wall again but I think I think I'm going to have to wrap things up here. Let me uh, save. We're going to switch back over here. And we'll have a little chat before we say goodnight. I want to double check. I'm going to quit out of the game here. And I'm going to update my list. We did a lot tonight. I didn't think we'd get all those other quests done. But we did. And I can now put Confidence Man in the green category. So I've only got... It looks like I've got... Oh! Tradecraft. Let me do Tradecraft real quick. Put that in the green category. It's done. So I really don't have more to do. I've got to, I'm going to have to go through those DLC quests. That's going to be fun. And I'm going to have to go and do Kellogg. But now that I've got Nick out of... Uh, out of Vault 114 prison, I can go do the Kellogg thing pretty quickly. So that'll be my next experiment. But um, yeah, that's going to do it tonight, everybody. Thank you very much for coming and hanging out for the science experiment. It was a lot of fun. We got to see some really goofy shit in a mostly unmodded game. So that just goes to show show you that mods won't break your game. Your game will break your game. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Vicky. Thank you for the kind words and for the bits. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Well, thank you for being here. You're awesome for being here. And letting me share this stuff with you. It's It's a lot of fun. Uh, Kellogg will be a box on the cereal. Yes, that's what I should have done, Speak Easier. Yep, forget. That's it. Forget the pistol. Forget Kellogg's pistol. We're going to use the cereal box on the shelf. That'll be in the kitchen. That'll be a special edition just for you. <laughs> um, yes, thank you, everyone, for coming and hanging out. This has been a lot of fun. And thanks for uh, thanks for your interest in this little project. It's... um. I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do on it yet, but getting this this little feature um, kind of um, more or less finished has been a big step forward. I still have terminals entries to do, the eight more skill book covers, uh, and some little odds and ends, like I want to do a new texture for the dog bed. So, um, follow me for more silly ideas. That, that yeah, we're gonna do that for you, maybe. <laughs> I know there's a mod that has a Kel that turns Kellogg into a, a cereal box, but um, yeah, yeah, that's a thing. But Friday, I will be streaming again on Friday. I don't think I'll be able to stream again during the week, so that's why kind of I had a free night tonight, and uh, was a good opportunity to get some of this uh, testing done and do a stream. So I, I did the two birds with one stone thing. Friday, we will be back. New Vegas will be. Probably finishing up the Honest Hearts DLC. I think we're pretty far along in it. There's there's not a whole lot more to do. Some side quests. We have to uh, take some time to take drugs and kill a bear. Because that's very important. So that will be on Friday. And if you're new and you want to join us and hang out, hang out with us again. I'll drop a couple links in the chat here. Um, oh, thanks Vic. Glad you guys could all make it. Appreciate it. Uh, that's a link to the YouTubes. That's a link to the Twitters. And when I uh, know when I'm going to be able to stream, I will post announcement in those two places. And of course, if you have your notifications here on Twitch, provided they work, you should be notified when I go live. But plan is the usual Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern, after I get done with work, more New Vegas. And, um, yeah, I actually would try and raid somebody, but I'm, I'm it's late and I'm very tired and I got to get ready for bed. So I shan't be raiding anyone tonight. Um, but yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you for all the new follows. We got a bunch more new follows tonight. The subs, resubs. Thank you very much, everyone that resubbed. Um, thank you, Eric, for the raid. Eric B. Roland, thank you very much for that raid, sir. And the bits and just hanging out and being here. 
I really appreciate you guys just hanging out and being part of it. So we'll see you guys Friday. You guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And we'll catch you next time. Have a great night, everybody. And thank you again.